see. Wait, just got an initial. Okay, now we're live now. Are we are we live? Are we live? some stuff. Totally changed our plans today. We decided Tom's not up for getting himself into tight little tight quarters and doing boat maintenance. So we were like, what is one of the things on our list? And it's clearing out the storage unit. So that's what we're going to do. Actually clearing out just downsizing in general, but um, we have, and we'll talk about it some more, but we have a uh, we have a huge, um, I don't know if we talked about it, but Laura and I owned a broadcasting company which is called PE Audio, Protocol Experts. Um, Hi, Shana. And we did music festivals, and we would live stream music festivals way, way before a lot of you guys were born. We're pretty, we're pretty advanced. We were the best. Before you guys were born. We were streamers before streamers existed. Actually, we were. Sort we were of. Way ahead. Started in, I started in about 1998 streaming. Uh, using something called ISDN lines. And radio's been doing it for a long time. Anyway, we have accumulated 20 years of equipment. And it's in, been in storage units. Um, it's in three different storage units around town. And so, as part of our downsizing, we're bringing it all home into the one room, and I'm going to test it. Whoa, Tom. She's just going to walk. Whoa. <laughs> she is just going to walk right at fucking out in front of us. Unreal. What's in, what is, what, I hate what this. Is Bayou, I, what does Bayou Pop say? Kuyon. 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 And, okay, yeah, whatever, uh-huh, yeah, uh, just go. Or, yeah. Holy crap. Just, just want to deal I, with every day, don't. Just, I know, I don't come through here. Yep, I deal with it every day, just. I take the other way. It's what it is. Because this place has turned into, yeah, like. I just, you just go slow. Well, all of these crosswalks. Okay. I'm just telling Chad. Okay, I'm not going to say anything. No, you I'm just, just, you I'm just, just talk, saying. you just talk. Because I'm not going to have you. What Laura was going to say filtering is filtering everything what, I what say. What Laura was going to say was all these crosswalks. Um, people just walk out. They literally just walk out. you chastising me. Well, that's just like good. Oh, did you 
guys eat? Yes. I had, Tom ate well and I didn't. Or I don't know if he ate. I don't know. Yeah, I had, had my smoothie. I had my smoothie. I had chicken wings. Alright, so yeah, this is probably better. It's been over two. Went for five things and spent 188. But you saved seventy. Mm. Spent over two hundred for the week. Wow. Yeah, I mean, well, when we go to the store, it feels like we spend one hundred fifty bucks oh, yeah. just for little things. We've gotten. It's really changed. I, I'm below a hundred. I'm, I'm below a hundred now when we, when I go because we just buy very basic stuff for this meal plan we're doing. I'm going to stop and get some fruits and vegetables on the way home. There's a really cute little farmer's market right near the house. Shana said, I did get stopped once for jaywalking, so rarely do that anymore, but I use always use the crosswalks. Yeah, what gets me is that, like, the girl that... I'm sorry, I don't know why I shouldn't be able to yeah, express my frustration when someone walks out in front of our truck. Absolutely. That was just like what the hell are you doing? Like, you're moving forward and she just walks out in front of the truck. Like, who does that? And you missed it. We pulled over the, to the side in a parking lot just to, so we could be safe to get set up and stream. And these guys, these these people, just none of them are from around here. No, and but going through there, it's crazy yeah. because there there really isn't like there's not like a stoplight. They're crosswalks in the middle of the road, like in the middle of the street where there's not an intersection. And so people just cross. It's just weird. We're going through another, we're going through another section here that's the same way. But this, hey, whole, Hammer. Good this day. whole deal, this whole deal where pedestrians have the right of way is bullshit. <laughs> no, I mean, I get it. You don't want people to get hit, but there's no indication to a car. No, but like right here, if there's somebody right here and they walked out. No, yeah, they just walk in front of you. What they do in Nashville is to just walk. Nobody waits for there not to be cars, which is just at least in, Flor is at least in Florida, me. you push a button and it flashes a light. Right, and then there's an agreement. You wait for the light to turn. Or anyway, but there's or as a there's not. and you cross when it's safe. Like it's when it's safe, silly. But that area of town. Hi, Darren. T said people using the crosswalks have the right of way. Unfortunately, just fucking walk and don't look first. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's how exactly how it runs. Shana said, I always look. I don't want to get runned over. <laughs> I, I Farmer's almost... Market, let's go. Well, yeah, it's, it's a tiny little market, stand, yes. little produce stand on yeah. the way home. So yeah. we'll stop and get some. So what we're doing, veggies. so what we're doing, yeah. My car does beep if something is around. That's helpful for bikes, etc. Yeah. That is nice. Yeah. My car's not smart. Well, we're going through another section here, guys. That's not it's as bad. <laughs> and it's just hi, yeah. Blitz and Blob. And it's just all all the, everybody that lives here now is either. I'm gonna sound. I'm gonna sound. Just I would like a picture of Templar. Blob is piloting Templar through combat maneuvers. I would like a picture of Templar. Just think how bad this would be had we not done the uh, the mindful meditation before we got in the car. Josh and Bree went to your local farmers market or local farmer stand. That was fun to watch. That's cool. Yeah, there's a huge farmer's market down here. Huge. Just do that one weekend. Maybe when it's when it's a little cooler. That'd be fun to go to. Could, and it's open all year round, too. We need to take him to see Chef John Sullen on a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. We could do that. If you guys like that, that kind of stuff. That would be fun. We could take you to see John. We could go to one of the farmer's markets and just stream it. There's one in Little Park. Not far, the 12 South Farmer's Market. 
that's where Chef John selling his stuff. What we call it. It's called. Oh, that. there you go, darn. <laughs> Thanks for that shout out for Chef John Reed. <laughs> Darren's got the little emotes, the Chef John emotes. Yeah, Shana said they would love that. That's great. Okay, we could do that. Well, today has developed into our life, which is downsizing our life. Downsizing, yes. And so it has to be done. I really should have made a left there because I know the road is closed down here because this is where I come to work at um, quite often. But I'm almost at the point now I take the interstate and deal with the traffic there because this is... Here, I wonder if you can get a better more expansive view. Yeah. yeah, but then you don't get too close up enough. That's nice though. Huh? Yeah, we get to keep the expansive view for now to let them see where what it looks like down here. Alright. You guys can get a nice view of where we live and work. And I know everybody loves CJR. It's the accent, I tell you. So when Laura and I first moved here, none of this was here. We parked right to yep. the right in that muddy field. There was a liquor store down here and there were uh, two or three music clubs that we would come and hang out at. And that's it. Yeah, like what is all <laughs> this going on? What? They're not from here. So these guys are waiting right here. These guys are waiting to get their picture they're doing a picture in front of a mural. This line of people over here to the right, they're doing a picture. We have these mural tours right there to your right. Oh, yeah, yeah. And literally people are lined up to take a picture at the mural? Yep. They're waiting an hour. That's so weird. Well. And ridiculous. You Darn don't have says, my, my day has developed into shopping for heated towel racks for the house because someone has notions. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, what is Mrs. B wants heated towel racks? That's nice. I'm sorry, there's something pretty cool about having a heated towel. Or did Darren have notions? I got my towels over a heating vent. Sorted. <laughs> My son got me a towel warmer. It's a little tub. I freaking love it. Shana said, wow. It's just turning into a real thing. Shana likes less hood. I was 52 before I got heated towels. <laughs> Not my notions. I'm perfectly happy with taking them from the closet. Yeah, ditto. I'm just a little, I, I am definitely more, um, yeah, see, who's walking? I'm not waiting for you. Um, but see, in this view, you can't, then he, then he got, Shana doesn't like so much hood. I know. So I'm going to, I'm going to put it back on this one. You guys let me know. It's, you can't see as much to the sides, but it's definitely a clearer view. Once you have warm towels, you won't go back, I promise. <laughs> yes, no, guys, that's fine. Yes, guys, this is downtown Nashville construction zone. It's all that's happening down here is solid construction. I think you get a little de more detailed view anyway of stuff at least that's close. So. This angle is more true to life. <laughs> the wide angle is makes it... <laughs> look definitely not as closed in as it actually is here. This, this is a cool little place right here though. It's called Mechanical Pins. It's uh, duck pin bowling. Oh really? Yeah. It's got like an outdoor, a whole yeah. outdoor area yeah. though here with like... Yeah cool. all these buildings used to be the industrial area downtown called the Gulch and it was all railroad uh, business because the railroad uh, comes right through here. Still active. But 
now they built mega complexes for forklift play. HCA Healthcare. HCA, it's like all, I think HCA is all over the world, isn't it? But this is the headquarters here in Nashville. So we're like one of the healthcare capitals. This is all new here, all new development. This is just on the, just on the outskirts of downtown. I mean, downtown is literally two blocks to our north, to our east. look right that's pretty much downtown is right there Bob maneuvers Templar to the small moon near the Citadel <laughs> Blob that's I know Blob that's badass Blob sends schematic to discord oh my god really <laughs> yes finally seriously Blob finally. sent a schematic of the ship Templar nice to discord I'm so excited about that <laughs> <laughs> and this is the other thing that happens here, guys, is these, the tourism. We, we don't have a personal income tax here because we have so much tourism that they pretty much, the hotel tax and the um, sales tax covers. Yes, the, the radio station is downtown, Shana. It is. Probably gonna see it. Shout out given to Lightning 114 viewers. Are you gonna support the goal? Huh? Are you gonna tell them where it is? Where, where the what? radio station is? Yeah, the radio, the radio station, is that what the question was? Was there a question? Shana, Shana said, is the radio station downtown? Yeah, the radio station used to be right downtown. Um, we were on the LNC Tower at the top of it. Yeah, that was, it was cool when it was, it was up there. It was cool. And we, they raised our, jacked our rent up in early 2000s. And so we moved it to this, this, developing industrial area that took about another 10 years after we moved there maybe 20 years to develop which is really close to here and so um, where we're going is I need to pick up a couple of pieces of equipment from um, down here where I have it stored and then we're going to a storage unit but this area right here that we're coming up to is called Marathon, Marathon Motor, Motor Works. Works. And this is where the Marathon Automobile was made. This place only existed for, I don't know, seven to ten years. Um, it's really cool. But this building here to your right and Ooh, left, what? this was the chassis plant for Marathon, Marathon Motors. And a friend of ours bought this for a steel, and it's turned into this really cool... Uh, eclectic um, local businesses here. I mean, we've started a lot of businesses have started here. Leather works and candy companies. And right up here on the right, where the guys in the green are standing, right out front, is the Antique Archaeology, which is yeah. part of, um, what's that show that's on TV? Uh, Pickers. Pickers. Right here, straight ahead, Laura. Where? Right there where that bus is, where oh. that woman's walking out. Yeah. That is Antique Archaeology. And that's part of the Pickers show. But Jack Daniels just moved in here. Um, but it is a it is a tourist stop now. As you can tell, they actually have block off the streets. But I need to pull in here real quick. He literally didn't. No. Literally did. But I need to just um, 
pretty sure that that car right there is probably not unloading. They're in the loading zone. Huh. That white car is in the loading zone. Yep, sure is. Well, maybe they well, are. Well, and so is, uh, so is this, those people from Alabama. Uh, you can kind of get, you can kind of say, are they, are they not? But, okay. So what I'm going to do here. There's a car coming out there. I'm going to go there with it. I need to get or three. just leave it here and if it needs to be moved, I'll move it. Park and park behind that guy I'm who was in the 15 minute loading zone. I'm pulling right there. I got my cart. So. Mm. Holy camoly, and there's the railroad tracks. Why don't you just bring them with? Just bring them with? Yeah, just bring them with. We're going to go up to. Um, I got an office in this building. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna take him into my office and grab the stuff real quick. And... Okay. Okay. He has got my cart. You guys are going to see some crazy tours real quick. Yep. Now, we're, this isn't the storage unit yet. Tom needs to get some stuff. Um, and then we're going to the storage unit. So, we yeah, need to stop here first. Yeah. I'm just going to I'll just burn here. What? Okay. Text to speech enabled. You can call Mike. What? Text to speech enabled. What? How did Very I do that? Said Mike. Oh no 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 no! We don't want that. Hold on. Text to speech disabled. <laughs> I heard that. I know. I accidentally enabled text to speech. <laughs> yep. We got you. We got you guys. Thanks for that. <laughs> Hi, Colin Robinson. How are you? So Tom's going to get a few things from here, and then we'll go to the storage unit and get stuff from there. Here, do you want me to carry it? It's a good thing I worked out. Yeah. Isn't that cool, guys? Marathon automobiles. So. Yeah, he's got the dolly. Blob looks for a picture of the forge Blob uses. This is going to be so cool. I might have to give Blob his own channel on the Discord. Oh, I think so. Blob. Or Blitz. We might have to give, we might have to have Blob have his own channel for the story. And all the visual aids. So when you get down here to the other door. Yeah. See if I can just have you point the camera the other way. Okay. So these are all different. What is this? That's is a, that's a that's a that's a marathon roadster. Yeah, this was one of the marathon roadsters. It was fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff. There really is. We could we could we should probably bring when Clab's here. Do a full stream here. Yeah, because it really is a neat place.
This is what it was back in the day. That's where we are now. But yeah, Marathon Automobiles, it rivaled Ford for a while. Like... Yeah. There's, there's a big there's a big banner on the wall here. A what? There's a big banner on the wall. Oh, do you want me to not? Just yeah, just kind of come in and then go that way. Yeah. Great. Find everything else. So railroad tracks outside the building here. My grandparents, my grandparents apparently had one of the first Model Ts in the 40s. Wow, Model Ts. <laughs> so Tom's grabbing some stuff. Yeah, can we? Let's do that. Yeah, let's make a channel for Blob. Blob's Adventures. Or Adventures of Blob. <laughs> Whatever. And I can make it so only Blitz can post in there too. As far as main, main pages. Yep. AC's out. The AC's out? Yeah, they fixed oh. it and it, it's being replaced tomorrow morning at 7. It doesn't feel so bad in here. Well, no, so this one's fine. We're keeping rolling up. this cold air into the other office space. Oh, man. I'll be right back. All right. Well, do you want me to just go out into the hallway and walk around? Yeah, it's loud. I'll, I'll be out in a second. All right. What? If you just want to come out and make the loop, I'll be out here in like three minutes. I'm going to come out the other door. Okay. Yeah. Let this. me just do this. I'm going to come out the other door right by the stairs. Okay. All right. So I don't even know what some of this stuff is, but there's just... pieces of Ford things. I don't even know what this stuff is. Looks like it's awaiting. Do not place anything on glass. These are just things that are awaiting. Some kind of old saw. Here we go. This is the Champion 5 Passenger Touring. It was $1,750 fully equipped. But yeah, that's what was made in this building. Hi, is it Feist? Sorry, that new person little thing puts it on you. I think it's Feist is nice. <laughs> nice. Is it from World War I? Ah, uh, well, you know what? I don't... I need to find some pictures or information. That yeah, it's a massive doohickey. But yeah, this um, this area that we're in, Fice, is um, it's Marathon Motor Works, and so 
I'd probably be good to Google some of it. This is Rockford, Illinois. That's where this, whatever this doohickey is, was made. Date suggests World War II, 40s. Oh, rice is, there you go. I got it. Rice is nice. Um, this is kind of just a cool sculpture that they made with a bunch of different pieces. Um, runway audio. So now, and this is the old uh, elevator shaft. This is so cool. They still use this to go up and down. Um, but now this is just a bunch of different... Um, Businesses are here. Oh, there you go. There's Marathon 1914. In general, the power plant. The clutch, so all sorts of information about the different things. But yeah, that looks like it was probably just outside of this building. Right there. So here's like the specifications. There's stuff everywhere around here. Like, look at this fancy thing. Well, that's definitely a drill press. I'm not quite sure what this is. Southern Motor Works, Jackson, Tennessee, a marathon. <laughs> These pictures. Back in the day. But yeah, that was marathon was short lived. Um, but it was some of the first I, I I wish I could give you guys a bunch of I wasn't prepared to do a whole history on this, but Maybe we'll do, we'll do a tour of this building because there's a whole other floor, but we'll do a tour of this building one day. And I'll get all the information. $975, self-starter at small additional cost. <laughs> what this is let's see oh it's an alternate current motor with a serial number Was a motor used to start the cars? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. You're fine. Let's see what this says. Bowser measuring oil, measuring oil tanks. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Oh, a grease pump. Darren's telling us all what this stuff is. I'm like, I don't know what this stuff is. Yeah, that's a, that's a, oil, that's a oil pump. It's a grease pump, yeah. yeah. You'd fill your bucket there. Oh. And then it would just drip back into there when you were. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. All right, Tom has a. Tom has a bunch of stuff. Are we going, we're going to go down the elevator? Yeah. I was just telling him about the elevator. I said, we'll have to come here. 
Huh? Yeah. I have to go downstairs and close the door. I'll be right back. Okay. Gasoline storage outfits. Mini? Then this. Oh, yeah, because this right here is this thing right there, right? Note the simplicity of these outfits as compared with others. <laughs> Laboratory inspected hazardous fluids. Cool, huh? I may or may not have intimate knowledge of this building. Yeah. So here we go, chat. We're going to go for a ride. Okay, it's illegal for you to go for a ride in there, so go ahead. Oh. They're taking the controls out of the inside. Oh, wow, look at that. Laura? That's not good. What? What's yeah, the, the, the fact that this thing's falling apart. Oh, it's not falling apart. That's just we're putting heavy loads in there and pushed it out. It's fine. Oh, I'm, you're going to send me down here by myself? <gasps> Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> now we're like halfway, guys. <laughs> Chuckles were in danger. No, now we're like halfway in. Oh my god. And now it's going to get creepy on us. That happened while I'm standing here. It's crazy. Hi. Uh, are you stuck? Uh, I'm stuck. Are you stranded in the elevator? I am stranded in an elevator with your stuff. Can you, can you get us down? <laughs> yeah, it's all fine, Colin. It's all fine. <laughs> okay. Wow, chat, we did an illegal thing. I'm so proud of ourselves. Oh, look at this thing. Which way and where? Uh, it come out the door here, yeah. and then turn left, and this is a rooster. Oh, oh rooster. Yeah, thank you. So it's actually um, antique archaeology. Yeah, so, thank you. You went to through the front. Yeah, so here's a big boiler. What? Jack Daniel's store. Oh, Jack Daniel's store. Just what? Yeah, here. It's pretty amazing. Wow. And that's a what? That's a steam engine? It's part of the, yes, yeah, it's part of the, uh, you can see what it's, uh, the water and the steam would be created there. You have the heat that goes through, then it heats up the water, and it creates the steam that turns up. Oh wow, look, yeah, look at this. It turns it. And then this powered, and then this powered, there's pulleys throughout this whole building and that everything was powered by belts. Wow, so. this is beautiful though, isn't it? Look at all the, like there's some intricate so there's, pieces there's here too. 1900, it was, and there's the picture of it. It was a Southern engine and boiler works. <laughs> Shane is like, who dusts all that? I used to operate a super old elevator for the early 1900s or late 1800s. I forgot which, but you had to time the handle just right to get the elevator to stop at floor level. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. This is really cool, guys. And then, Laura, if you just want to just, if you just want to take the camera just down here, just point it down that way. There's like 30, there's like now 20 or 30 stores down there. 
just, down here. Yeah, just different shops. Yeah. That will down that on. hallway. We'll do it on a, when it's not so busy. I know most of the people. Yeah. Because why? why would There's I just that like so That's much easy. to look at here. Yeah. Marathon sales steadily increase, but this place only was in operation, Tom, for not that long, right? No, down here. Like, look at this old phone, guys. All this old equipment. An old safe from Marathon Motor Works. Looks like an old switchboard. Crazy, huh? Huh. Yeah, this is cool. All right. Well, we'll have to come. We'll come back. So this is this is like a teaser. Put this on a list. Put this on our list of things to do. If you guys like this, we can do a full tour when it's. Yeah, like, look at all those things on the. <laughs> no music in our Vaders. Does it have cheesy sax music? It needs it needs sax music to be 80s. It's a must. <laughs> what is this? Tennessee, oh, Tennessee Legend Distillery. Uh, another another distillery. Lots of people doing tastings in there. Look at all this stuff, Tom. Everywhere. He's he's really done a great job at. Like, this is a whole, you know, that's he's the getting... That's the original Marathon Man. Oh, the Marathon Man the right there. The designer of the Marathon car. And William Collier. William H. Collier. The engineer and designer of the Marathon car and general manager of the plant. This is the officers of the Southern Engine and Boiler Works. William Collier is the top left. Wow, there's so much to see, guys. So much to see. There's a marathon delivery car. $1,125. T said, when I was at the store today, I kept hearing music and thinking, Shana would love that song, or Tom would love this one. <laughs> That's the effects of our road trips, right? <laughs> I love it. I love it. This is Vincent Peach's stuff. They have their their handmade jewelry. You remember oh, Vincent Peach, right? Remember that? Yeah. Yep. What is that? That's a lathe. <laughs> oh, just a little lathe? Just a little one, yeah. Crazy. What's that? That's a what is that? I have so many questions. That is a something or other modified, uh, yeah, some sort of a press. Doohickey. Not really sure what that one is. I think it's some sort of a press. Okay. Interesting. And convert it into a light. <laughs> All right. Then right there. Yeah. Huh? Touring cars and roadster. All right, there you go. We're going to move on from this place, but um, we'll be back again. Oh, there's a train coming as well. Bonus train. Or I can stand here with it if you want me to. Blob is busy going into hyperspace. There you go, guys.
Can you imagine living right there with the train coming by? Well, that's built uh, 500 and some units. I know, right along here. Yep, choo choo. There we go. You guys saw the caboose. I know, Twain, Twain. <laughs> Here we go. Bonus, a Twain, Twain, Twain. <laughs> Okay, here we go. For it was the first stop. Now the we next. Could, we could spend all day there. There's a lot to look at. Yeah, and different shops and things yeah. like that. And that can take you into areas that you can't get to. Yeah, well, we can do that. Um, Not weekend. No, I was gonna say maybe on a weekday when. The guy, in the, the guy in that building makes our t-shirts for us. All right, hold on. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, Let me get a seatbelt on. Just hold your horses. Thanks, Shana. <laughs> seatbelt. So we're gonna go to the storage unit. Twain, he isn't here, I checked. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys something else that we're gonna do. I got a project that is on my list that might be pretty cool for some of you guys. I don't know what's that. What's that? It's a, I got the neon, I got the neon the original neon sign from Springfield for a radio station sign. Oh, really? Yeah. That I want to have my cousin refurbish. Might need to be might need to be refurbished in the WRTR now. Road trip radio. Hmm. Uh, sweet. It's either going to be that or Lightning 100. Would be cool, huh? Yeah. For sale. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Old funeral home. Think it might be haunted? Oh, where's Dixie? She'd probably love that. I know. Oh, sorry about the wobble. So this is one of the, up here, this is one of the um, charter schools, right? That there's like super smart kids go to? Yeah. One of the magnets. Magnet schools? Not charter, magnet. Green light. Green light. Just trying to start hard. Hang on. Hang on to the. Uh, I got it. Yeah, I'm testing some things out. I have it in a different way. Then down here at the light, we're making a lot to get to the store too. Blob feels the shirt ship lurch unexpectedly. Yeah, I know how Blob feels. Rushes to the cockpit and orders crew to head to the turrets. Uh oh. Blob's gonna shoot something. He had drones out earlier, didn't he? 
<laughs> Darren says, I wince every time I watch you turn while driving. My brain is hardwired to the other side of the road. Oh, I can't imagine. <laughs> it's like, oh. Uh... Well, I've kind of done the other, I've done the same thing watching some streams in, from other countries as well. I love it when the streams get somehow get superimposed and it's backwards anyway. Huh? That guy's running with that. I know, in this heat? Yeah. All right, storage area. Blob sends urgent message to allies nearby requesting immediate assistance. Permission granted. Papa Tom. Permission granted. So, I'm making a quick stop at one unit here. Veterans Ambulance Service. Interesting. Ooh, look at all these. What do people store? These storage? No, those are the. Do they the, pay for storage yeah, here? Yeah, those are the party mobiles. Hell on Wheels, they go downtown and. Oh, load are up you with, serious? Load those up with, um, wow. Load those up with people. Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. That's crazy. They used military vehicles, and these run downtown. Yep. Crazy. All right, let's see. Tom, what do you want me to do with them? I'll be right there. Okay. Finally repainted my toes. What shoes do I recommend for the boat? Uh, probably Croc, Shayna. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> um, actually, no, but seriously. <laughs> um, I recommend no shoes for the boat, to be honest. Um, if you're going to wear some onto the boat, I would probably do something like, you know, like, uh, boat shoes, like deck shoes, or, um, I just looked for some that I, I'm thinking will be like fun, you know, cute, but also functional, um, are like the Hey Dudes, you know, the style that I'm talking about. They're kind of like closed toed shoes. De definitely don't wear open toed shoes on the boat. So something in closed toed shoe, um, with those kind of more squishy soles, don't wear anything that that are hard, don't wear leather soles of any kind. You know what I mean? It's like, yep, I would recommend those. Does chat want to see one of my one of my tech labs real quick? Your tech labs? Yeah. What's that mean? I have to show them one of this. This is where I do a lot of my. Oh, do you want me to? Am I coming along? Huh? Or do you want to show them? Sure. Take it real quick. Okay. We're gonna be in there 30 seconds. We're, I got everything out of there already. Hold on, here. It's just right. sometimes not as easy as you think. Okay. Off you go, chat. Not that you guys like um, tech stuff, but... Got a little setup here that um, I'll bring some excess equipment to. Anyway, I'm getting ready to put a bunch more in here, but I had to grab my personal stuff out of this one. And these are old computers from servers from oh, different, different uh, events that I've done. And I was just gonna grab a couple of things out of here that are mine.
anyway, uh, so yeah, I have stuff all over, literally when I say all over town, but I've done a pretty good job of keeping it somewhat organized. So, that'll, that was quick. That was quick. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Now we're going to go to the next one, and that has like 12 totes in it that are all stacked ready to just be loaded in the back of the truck. Okay. So. What'd you see, chat? Tom's on a mission. He is. Hi, Hammer. Yeah, I heard that is actually one of the, uh, like, drinking, downtown drinking vessels. So they put a bunch of tourists, give them a bunch of alcohol, and drive them around downtown in those things. Sounds like it does sound like hell to me. And actually, they probably use those a lot for um, bachelorette parties or bachelor parties. Bachelorette parties. I imagine. And yeah, that yeah, like they, I said, that sounds like literal hell. And they will start, and they go usually go out at somewhere between two and four. And I think they have three of them. That's why there's there's one out. Yeah, it sounds horrible. Probably hotter than hell on that truck. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sure it is. All right, here we go. Seeing things that can't be unseen. 15-year-old PCs that should be in the trash long ago. Oh, <laughs> darn what he just said. Darn, what me, he just let me, saw. Let me, let me explain to those 15-year-old uh, PCs that should be in trash. I have one. I have some software that is legacy software that requires that machine and as they fail I just take one of those and I move the hard drive into it and I'm good for another year. So it's running Windows XP and those are the last the three. The Windows XP. <laughs> yeah it's a it's a funny story but I just found those in my basement and I was trying to figure out why I kept them and I remembered because I had a failure recently and I'm like oh I have three more of those in stock we're good for another. But uh, all that's being upgraded starting next week the whole infrastructure at this at the radio station is being and all that stuff will go yeah we saw those buses last time we took you downtown yeah, yeah. yeah. kendall um, said i heard nashville is the bachelorette capital of the world second i think we're second or bachelorette in, capital yeah i think we're second now second now to who vegas vegas yeah. we were number we were number like three or four now we're number so two. where are we getting things out of okay i'll take them Mighty Midwest for you. Some downtowns have pedal bars and other novel ways to drink. Y'all just added beer to an APC and drive around, get eight miles to the gallon. I know. It's CPU hard coded software. That's nuts. Windows 3.1. Boise beer pedal bikes is popular for bachelorette parties. Yeah, we've, we've got the pedal taverns as well. I want to jump on. I just. I don't know. It, the ridiculousness of, like, the drinking and being on those buses. I mean, when people, like, are whooping and hot, and I grant, they're having fun, but it's like, I don't know, sometimes it's just, I sound like such an old person, but then again, just classless behavior, some of what you see. And it's like, dude, you can go to someone else's town and just act like that. I don't know. I may be just old and jaded or just, I don't know. I mean, I've done some dumb shit, but not like in the middle of town where everybody can see me dumb shit. I wouldn't recommend that. Just all you younger people. 
don't do dumb shit. Or if you do dumb shit, don't do it in the middle of downtown. Okay. So. Holy camoly. Yeah, I need you to help. Storage wars. Maybe set them on the ground or something, or I can put them in here. Okay, what are we doing? We're, all these gray ones are coming out. Okay, here. Why don't I put them? Oh, yeah, they'll stick right here. Look at that. Okay, guys. I'm gonna take some stuff here. It's really just getting, we can just stack, you can just literally stack. I just can't step over everything. All right. Be careful twisting like that. Okay. This one's heavy. Be careful. Got it. Got it. Yep. My goodness. A whole tote of mics that weighs about oh, a. Oh, look at another. Here's the other one. Oh, another one. Yes. I knew I had it. And if any of you guys are really into um, technology, I plan on streaming some of this. Um, yeah, when he, when he, we're gonna take this back to the house and he'll probably um, open it up. Open up these things so you can see what's in it. I'm gonna pull out all the computers. A lot of these totes have computers in them. Less than 15 years old. So we're going to start looking at what we should sell, toss. This is all radio bottle roof stuff. All right, let me show you. Uh, Darren, you're gonna love, you're gonna love this. We don't have a, <laughs> we don't have a phone for chat. We can't read chat right now, so. Uh, yeah, we can, hold on. It, my phone is, in here? yeah, hold on. Okay, got it. My, okay, here we go. I don't know how to turn this around, but we'll figure it out. There we go. These are broadcast racks that I removed from a... These were in the engineering office before I moved in, in the storage, but... Power, power conditioner. Um, what is that? Effects, effects signal processor. This is for weather, EAS, which is emergency alert system. This is just a router selector for Axia. That's a remote control interface, another power strip. Over here we have switchers, VU meters on top. Um, there's a bunch of switchers because we had a bunch. We had, we had to route a bunch of uh, stations analog <coughs> back in the day. <coughs> Citation Goodness. tuner, CD player, old stuff. And then down here we have digital STLs. Uh, CD links, those things are solid. And FCC files and manuals, these are all the computer. <coughs> oh my god, so much and dust. Analog cable. This stuff's worth money. Is it? Yeah. Really? Yeah, each one of those is a stereo pair of okay. analog cable. So, all right. And then miscellaneous, you know, containers and stuff. But this is not yours, right? Uh, no, all my stuff is out. Yeah, Hammer says, ooh, gear. Yeah, lots of gear. Darren says, emergency music player, it's EAS. Yep. Ooh, blob, a ship's barring eclipse crime syndicate flag. What? Okay. It's a battle axe, RDS encoder. <laughs> Darren, yeah. such a geek, man. Such a geek. All right, let me load this stuff up. 
Up. Blob grabs nearby weapons and gear. Okay. So, hold on. I'll put you guys here. Here, do you want me to do something? Huh? Do you want me to get in there and organize it? Huh? Okay, well I'm asking if I can help and you're can yeah. I what can I do? This top middle one? Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's tight. I'll come over there and just hold it right there. 
Chat. Let me grab chat so they don't get okay. pumped on the ground. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, chat. Woo. Hot. Hot one today. Huh? I said it's a hot one today. Yeah, holy pile of straps. <laughs> cool old truck back there. Oh, yeah. Nah, he, do he doesn't though. Shane, that's the problem. He still doesn't. He just tries to do stuff and he's got a hurt back, which is like... Extreme Tetris. <laughs> I got y'all on the 65. <laughs> right, ready? Bob is scorching cannons. Got a clip of it yesterday. Hey, what? <laughs> right, let's go get some fruits and veggies. Oh, the wobbly. Yeah, it does it at random times. Yeah, I'm not quite sure if it's my phone hammer or what, but yeah, that wobbly stuff. Yeah, it's a little odd. <laughs> After strapping it down, you got to slap the top and say, and that ain't going nowhere. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> I have caught myself doing that before too. That's so funny. I know, I do that. That ain't going anywhere. Y'all are life-sized. <laughs> oh, on your 65-inch. Wow. Yeah. Who's watching this on a 65-inch? Kendall. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you guys feel about going to get some fruits and veggies? Fruits and veggies. I got a clip of it yesterday. Oh, was going to hit support up about it yeah i do i need to figure out what's going on <sighs> okay we got to carry all this into the house which is going to take yeah it'll be fine we'll do it Ten trips. can take a couple at one time some of those aren't so heavy i can do three on a, um, on a oh yeah we can do the dolly yeah Um, cantaloupe, a couple of, uh, <laughs> sure right, right there. Kendall said, I can count Tom's nose hairs on my TV. <laughs> now he's looking at his nose. Yeah, I need to trim them. Thanks, Kendall. <laughs> Thanks, Kendall. I'll get those. Somebody go to my Amazon wish list and get me one of those nose hair trimmers. No. Oh, gross. Nobody's buying you that. Mine went bad. You can buy one. Yeah, you can't pull them. You're not supposed to pull your nose hairs. Yeah. Sweating. You got sweat. You look like you're crying. Huh? You sweat. You look like you're crying. Oh, does I have sweat? You have a sweat tear. Oh, you okay? I was hot. Oh, yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> Kendall said he was joking. He couldn't really see your nose hairs, Tom. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Ooh, Darren said, wax them out, last for ages. Oh yeah, I've seen those. I've seen oh that. God, I've seen <laughs> it sounds I'll horrible. On, I'll do that on stream. Oh no, oh yeah, my God. I've seen people do that. I'll, I don't, well. You stick like a Q-tip, like a waxy Q-tip up your nose and then you pull it out. That looks like fun. No, that looks horrible. 
Yeah, look at it. It's all... Gotta be a setting. What, for people? No, for this, this <laughs> wobbling. I know, there's gotta be... Is there a setting? There's or? gotta be a way to deal with this. No, there's gotta be a setting for that wobbly thing that the camera does. Why don't you... Why don't we research it and find out? I cannot believe that they would let me through there. They're replacing the bridges? I mean, I wonder if it's because I've got it at the highest... Oh, she, she wants to go. She's looking. Oh, Sep, watch out. Only because you didn't walk out in front of me. Oh, Kendall says I normally watch y'all on my iPhone. <laughs> oh, big difference. Ooh, smelly. Smell that? Yeah, I agree, T. Let's oh. not do the wax thing on stream. And Doran's like, if you do wax it, stream it, please. Okay. Laugh out loud. <laughs> okay. I, will, I will order the waxing kit tonight for the nose hairs. I, uh -huh. I've seen that on other streams. I, I, like, I have no interest in seeing. I have no interest in witnessing that. So. I don't even think it'll hurt. What? I don't even think it'll hurt. You don't think it'll hurt? No. Oh, there's Union Station. Kind of a cool shot of Union Station back there in the distance. So they didn't, Good. I guess all they, the I, construction. I guess they really didn't want to turn in there. A whole new bridge and everything. That's crazy. Yeah, I, you know what? So I wonder guys, I see the wavering right now and I'm wondering if it's, I've got this on like the highest quality setting. Yeah, turn it down. So I wonder if, I wonder if that's playing into it. Cause it almost feels like it does it more when it's like, well, it's on auto, but I think, but it does feel like it does it more when we've got like the highest quality going on. Have you, how do you, how do you change? Kendall said, this looks like downtown Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting, it, Nashville is getting, it's growing. It's just huge now. So many more is, buildings. This is downtown. This we're inside the downtown loop. Yeah. And there's the normal right there. Uh, the pedal tavern. Pedal is, tavern. That is the normal. They've reduced the number of them because people were getting hurt. Oh yeah, look at the cars passing them. Between that and scooters, these little it's like, bird, yeah, these yeah. little scooter things. I saw somebody right people, over the, People got, yeah. people have, have been killed right on these in these, Nashville. Right over where these women are walking, I was turning left here and one was coming and this girl was on it and all of a sudden she disappeared next to my window and I looked down and she had hit the, hit the pavement. Oh. It's crazy, yeah, it's just, it's just terrifying. Just terrifying. Blood rumps back to Templar with guards in tow. Mm. Oh, the turret set to automatic. It's not going to end well for someone. It's not going to end well for someone. We used to come all the time. We used to do, remember Tom Friday nights? Yep, right there. Sambuca, like right up. You can't see. It's right over. There, right yeah, there. Losing jazz bar. Yeah. And we used to 
just up on the top level right there is where we used to hang out. It's cool. Sure, sure we did. Back in our younger days, when we partied every weekend. Every night. Every Didn't night. Didn't have to be a weekend. Yeah. But none of these buildings were here either. No. Now we and we didn't we didn't really frequent downtown. Like this was actually outside of the loop. Yeah. Um, because these big tall buildings weren't around here. This place, this is called the Gulch, and so it's it's across the railroad tracks, and it's not easy to get to from downtown. And they just put a connector to our left to downtown. So, but they're going to do a walking bridge from the, from right down there in the middle of those buildings over across. They're doing a walking bridge. Yeah. Five years ago, none of these buildings stood right. <laughs> Darn. What do you mean when you partied every weekend? You still party every weekend on stream. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No. Partying had a different connotation back then. We were downtown, live music, dancing, drinking. It was, it was a little crazy. It didn't feel like we weren't like total thrashers or anything. But we did. We would hit. There were many Saturday mornings. We, we would hit three or four clubs and were, not get home until four in the morning. Laura, there were many Saturday mornings that we were watching the sun. We come saw up. the sunrise on the way home. On the way home. Yeah. It was not uncommon to go to Hermitage Cafe at 3 a.m. Yep. Pub of Love. Pub of Love was open until what, three? Three yeah. or four? Yeah. Bars closed at three. Few of them stayed open till three. Most of them shut down at midnight back in that back in those days. Even Broadway. Now they're open till three, and they open again at seven. No, that wasn't before kids. <laughs> no, kids were teen teenagers. Yeah, they were teens. They were teens. But we had kids when we were in our early twenties, so they got to be teenagers when we were still, yeah, we still partying were, age. I was thirty six when our oldest was old enough to drive. Yeah. I was 21 when I had my first baby. And what, 26 when I had my last. Kendall said, I used to go hard from Thursday to Sunday. Yep. Yeah. So did we. We used to used hard. to go to the Crystal Palace in Atlanta, and it didn't even open until midnight, and we stayed until sun until the sun came up. Wow. Yeah, those after hours places. Yep. Was it was it kind of like Kendall? Was it kind of like a rave thing, or what? What was the vibe of the Crystal Palace? Because we would just find places like the Pub of Love. They did some rave stuff. We never stayed for that. Well, next Once door, they got, oh next, no, it was next door next to that. Next door was an after hours club. Yeah. So we. But did. but like they had the beach area, and we would go to the beach. Oh, that was Pub of Love. Pub of Love. That's what I mean. Yeah. They had this outdoor area with sand in it, and there just wouldn't be that many people there late night, and so yeah. we would just stay. People did, yeah. And we would have deep conversations with our friends, like really deep. We'd Deep leave, drunken conversations. We'd Those were the, the best. We'd leave the cigarettes at the bar. Those were, the, yeah. And we would, we would smoke, smoke all, smoke all night, and then leave the cigarettes at the bar. Only place, only place I've been after hours is Denny's. Said Shayna. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. Kendall said it was the place that he went to. Crystal Palace was a rave, a rave vibe super unique people there. Yeah, absolutely. That was one of the great things about the Gulch though. You'd meet just super unique people at night, you know, after hours folks. And they're all, they were just so nice. 
weren't they? Like, everybody was always just so nice. You mean just in our crew? No, like, the people around town. Yeah, they were. The, you know? Totally different than what it is now. Totally, yeah. Blob is piling the ship towards the crime syndicate command ship to dock in a hangar. Ooh, the crime syndicate. I'm really interested in this, this line of story here, the crime syndicate. Space crime. What kind of crime are they into, Blitz, Blob? I have questions. Blob sees the rest of the hostile mercenaries' fleet get destroyed. This is like a novel that you would read, Tom. It sounds like it. It is. Is it going to be turned into oh. a story? So that is Belmont University, and that's like the mansion. Creep, and that's where I mail my UPS packages. Right there. Where? Right there, to your right, the up store. Oh, the up store, Belmont That's University. Sh shipper of choice. Yeah. We're coming into 12 South again. No, oh, yeah, here's the place where all the people, uh, they're probably gonna all gonna die. But we're in much better headspace now, so, because they're just out having fun. And they're supporting us by paying our taxes for us. Yeah, you just have to go really slow through here. And if you look, just notice they've done all this stuff with the curbs and the, they took a, a small street and made it even like a narrow street and made it even more narrow and blocked off a center lane, like for what? And <laughs> you're going 25 miles an hour. And then they make it narrower. And then they make it narrower and then and they did, oh God. And they did make a, um, bike lane? a bike lane. There yeah. was, but now it's gone for right now. Did they? Because yeah, I. It's gone for right now. I, we wondered, like, it was like they didn't plan it very well. Now look at this couple waiting very nicely. Yep, uh, so. see, and that's, then it's controlled. Then we all stopped, stopped moving, Tom. You can't roll forward, people, if you're, people have done that with me and like waved me on, but like you, it just freaks people out. You have to stop totally. Well, she isn't gonna, she doesn't care if you stop for her or not. She's going anyway. Kuyan. <laughs> Kuyan. That's some fancy paint. Love Shack fancy. Yeah, it was. What does Tom ship? Shana said. Then we just have to return Amazon packages. Amazon whatever. packages and all this, all this, all this equipment you're gonna see. Yep, all this, uh, all this selling. equipment that you all are gonna want us to send you. I'm selling all of it. Or giving it away. Yeah. Some of it. Some of it, but anything that's sellable, we're gonna sell. Artwork. They are not, are they going to fit in there? <laughs> They're going to make it fit. So we went to Martin's Barbecue last night, and as I'm checking out, I'm, there's a young lady standing next to me, and I recognize her, and before I could formulate the uh, who it was, um, I told Laura, I said, well, there goes Cheryl Crow. Oh, yeah, she that, was, that was take, there. She was getting takeout, and saw another friend of ours there. Yep. But she went and got, picked up her food for... Her Martin's Barbecue. For kids, I guess. See, they're going to wait. Oh, gosh. You you can't roll forward. I wasn't. I was stuck. They're all waiting. They're waiting for cars. For Ubers. Oh. Eclipse Crime Syndicate. That was founded by Jonas Sedaris. Consists mostly of mercs and smugglers and bounty hunters. Wow. I'm a cute puppy. Did Lala check her ID? What? Where? Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, the Cheryl Crow story. Sorry, the ID check. Yeah, it was just ironic that we just. I know it was that, actually, yeah. and then she showed up at dinner time. No, I did not, Shana. We didn't. We did not approach her. We did not. We don't. Although kidding. the thing is, she knows Tom. Yeah. She would recognize Tom. She loves Lightning One Hundred, so. She's done free sh free shows for them. For the city, via Lightning 100, rather. She's awesome. We do love her. We do. Need to get a hold of her this week. Yeah. Uh, she's on my list. We have a proposal for her. <laughs> Cheryl, if you're watching. <laughs> We have an idea. All right, um, so we're gonna go grab some. Oh, and there's Joe's, there's Marathon Fitness, where I used to work out in that little building right there. And then down here to the left, this is where. Yeah, this is Severe Park. The 12th South Farmer's Market is. Yeah, this is where John does, there's a farmer's market, right in, you know, on the other side of these trees in the open right in field, here. field here. In the trees. Yep, right there. On Tuesdays. On Tuesdays. So, may bring you down, bring you guys down, and stream from here. But we're gonna stop on and get some, We're gonna stop and get some cantaloupe and some fresh uh, vegetables, so we have some for the week. And I'm, I'm actually just craving a tomato right now, a fresh tomato cut up. Oh, Shana said, "Can she buy us a new boat?" I know yeah. that would be great. No, if we gotta buy a new boat. I'm just gonna work for another 10 months. I'm gonna extend my employment. I don't really wanna do it, but if I have to, as long as 100% of what I'm making, basically, or most of what I'm making, is going toward paying for a boat, then fine. Maybe with a walk-in engine room. But we still have to, we still have to set ourselves up to live without my income. See what I mean? Because then if we're set up to live without my income or minimal, you know, like on just my pension, um, then the rest of what I make can go toward buying a new boat. But God, I can't even imagine how much that'll cost. 80 to 100, right? Oh yeah, that'll be a nice one. That would be a nice one. Be a Bahamas boat. That would be a Bahamas boat. For sure. I mean, this one can be a Bahamas boat if if we get the new engines. Yeah. But I don't know. I, now I'm just all confused. Yep. You know, it's so easy to just go, oh yeah, I'll just work another year, and I could do that until I'm seventy. Yeah. No, no, you know, no. and then we could maximize our income for sure. And who knows if we make it that long? No, I mean, our future lifestyle is not going to be conducive to you working there. So that's not an option. We got this plan. And what's in the back of the truck right here, guys, is part of the plan. It is. So That's why we decided to do it today. We needed to have a we needed to have a a, a stream of success today. And yeah. So, Kendall said, "What's wrong with the engines?" Um, we got one engine that may have a severe, may have a catastrophic failure. Um, we have been watching it. As it was a minor. Um, there's oil in the coolant. It's a diesel. We're gonna we're gonna. We hope it's the oil cooler. I've been, we've done this before, this rebuild, and we were hoping it was fixed. It was not fixed, but um, two times ago, taking it out after we changed the impellers, we had a substantial increase in the oil that was in the coolant, and the oil pressure dropped um, quite a bit. And so there's some sort of a failure, and I'm working with Volvo out of Belgium um, with Rudy. And he and I, he helped me before, 
and he's take he's he's been, he's gotten invested in this project, and so we're going to try and source parts for it. It's an obsolete engine. He he said he thinks he can get parts for the oil cooler, um, but we're going to pull it off. I'm going to test it this time. Then I'm going to take it and have it boiled, cleaned out. And then I'm going to re re gasket it, put new O-rings in it, and see if we can stop the leak. We'll have to change the oil, flush the engine. Um, a few times, and then we'll see if it um, see if it gets better. But if that doesn't fix it, then it's a then it's a block failure of some sort. And in order to rebuild them, if you can get parts, um, it starts to get really expensive. But anyway, we're not going to talk about that yet. Yeah, Kendall said, "Oh dang." Yeah. So Blob used to be employed by. We can we can take these guys with us here. Yeah by Jonah Sedaris before Blob was trained as a special ops. Blob thanks Jonah Sedaris for the reinforcement. Uh, we have severe thunderstorm. Severe thunderstorm. Pilots the ship up. out of the hangar and jumps to hyperspace to Merc outpost known as Omega. Damn. Blob, my hero. Okay. If it's a block failure, yeah, Darren said, if it's a block failure, you are best to cut your losses. We we know that. We're just trying to come to terms with it. Thank yeah. you for saying it. We know that. It makes me want to cry, though. You know? We have no, got, like, we for have real. Got, for real have, cry. We have, <laughs> we have paid for it. We've gotten that much enjoyment out of it. So we're uh, replacing it if we need to. Yeah. Then we know we can do the loop. But, we but, know then, it. but then it's like, but literally, I mean, because we need a boat. I'm, I will have a boat. So we got to have a boat. And so I will work for another year. Which, you know, it's just after getting my hopes up, that would be devastating. But we will withhold um, our sadness until we actually get that news. All right. Look at this, guys. So. so I'm thinking two of these. We'll get two of these and cut them off for the week, right? You like yeah, Shana, no onions. Yeah, I love those. Those look. Oh. Ooh, Amish Bradleys. You want Amish Bradleys or do you want? I don't know. These are the Amish here. Oh, Amish beef steak. Yeah. Which are better right now? Well, Tom. Well, the Bradleys are sweeter than the beef steaks. So those are a little bit more acidic. These are the Bradleys. Oh, I like the acidic. Okay, so we're going to get two of each. Okay. So do not squeeze them. Do not squeeze the tomato. Look at this, guys. Look at the, just the brilliant colors. What farm does this come from? So a lot of our Amish stuff comes from two main Amish farms, one south of Etheridge and the other one north of Clarksville. Uh, anything that's not Amish comes from different locations. I'm not quite sure of all of them. That's cool. cool. But all pretty local? Yes. Except for the seasonal stuff, right? Except for the what, sir? Like sometimes this, the corn comes from Florida. Yeah, corn, corn from Ohio, peaches from Michigan. Look how beautiful this stuff is. So what what do you want here? Sure thing. Do you want to do a are we allowed to have potatoes? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. How would you like to do um, potatoes and corn and just like some fresh yeah, that sounds great. Something a little bit different? Sounds wonderful, yeah. So just, I'll just grab... Yeah. I'll just grab two of these potatoes. And then what about looking at this stuff here? Do you want some corn? Corn. Yeah, the corn's always good. These peaches. Do you, do you need two ears tonight? Huh? Two ears? Yeah, probably. I'm fine. I can do leftover corn too. Sugar baby modern melons. Yellow. There's yellow squash, zucchini. Do you still you still have squash and zucchini? No. You could make some of that because that with rice, just do that with mushrooms. Squash and zucchini so are so good. Up, you know, yeah. Pan? yeah. Yeah. 
What, what, uh, kind you, what kind do you want? Yellow and green? Yeah. Shane says, I'll be working for another seven if that's any comfort. Kendall wants to know, can you replace the possible bad engine with a completely new one? Yes, I can. It's called a repower. A repower. And, we'll, and once, we get, once we get in the truck, I'll tell you what, what we're looking at for that. Okay. So we have, we have tomatoes, Asian tomatoes, pears. Corn. Huh? I'm just showing them different stuff. I'm going to get one onion. Do you want any green peppers, Laura? Green and yellow pepper? Uh, I don't know how many we've got left in there. Let's, I can get them tomorrow. Maybe. Yeah, I, I think we've got some to eat still. Yeah, I love sugar babies. Are you talking about sugar baby watermelon or just sugar babies? Because I love sugar babies. I'm going to get two cantaloupes. Two cantaloupes? Yep. That's for 35 cents. You're all set. All right, thank you. Thanks so much. Of course. But three twenty-five each for those kind of cantaloupes? That sounds like a good idea. Like just a good price, don't you think? Because those are just nice, nice and big. Like just beautiful. Thank you. Okay, we have two weeks more. Hi there. Yeah. Watch out, there's a hole there. Here. So, to give you an example, Laura, what we just bought. Yeah. So for the week? Yeah. That'll almost be enough for the week. Yeah. We'll it, and we spent $35. $35. How <laughs> do you know? Do you like watermelon? Do you like watermelon cut it's, up? It's all right. Okay. I'll uh, get one this not, week. It's I'm not, not like, uh, yeah. yeah. Cantaloupe is okay if it's cold for me. I like cantaloupe better. Although we threw some out last time, so yeah, we just need to cut some up right away. Just one. Yeah. Leave the other so it doesn't get weird. Kendall said, I grilled six filet mignons and cooked mashed potatoes for lunch. Wow, six, six filet mignons. He grilled them he, and cooked mashed potatoes for lunch. Yum. I don't know how, that's a lot of filet mignon. Shana said, I had a cheap burrito coming to your house next time. <laughs> My birthday dinner is always filet mignon. Oh, we love filet. We yeah. Get, we love filet from a place called, a restaurant if, called if J. I, Alexander's. Yeah, if I eat steak, that's what it is but it's J. Alexander's filet. Shana loves watermelons and the sugar babies are the ones she likes those. Yeah. They're so good. So Kendall asked, can you just replace the possible engine? So Shana said it involves major dismantling from what I understand. Kendall, so yes, we can replace the engine. So the, the, let's just assume, last time I got a cost on the engines that were for that boat, they were 35,000 a piece. New, it included a bunch of gauges and control cables and basically new helms so the engines were you have to do them in pairs and so that would be 70 plus installation in order to take the other engines out we have to cut the both sides of the boat we could probably cut one side out but you may have to cut both sides out to get them out and so that's another 30 to 35,000 to cut it out and then re-glass it um, big project but you would have a you would almost have a new boat from the from the water line down and then yeah. when we had an out well we had it out we'd replace the generator too generator is as old as the engine so yeah but the generator is only is only once you have the, the side cut out the generator is only well and there's more efficient generators we can oh, yeah. put in how to a diesel a, so a, a 10k a 10k diesel generator is twelve thousand dollars 
and quieter, everything. And then I would also encase that entire engine room in a um, soundproof thermal thermal uh, thermal enclosure so that the heat would be go at the uh, air vents the way it's supposed to. Right now it rises up. Yeah, Kendall said, yeah, that's a lot of dough. It's so. a lot of money. And then just depending on how much the upper helm costs, you may you may just we, we may just remove the upper helm. Just keep it a sun deck. Yeah. So, same cost as a as a new boat, exactly. But you would have new engines. Yeah. Yeah. So, so a, we'll have some decisions to make. Um great, and great like streaming. Like I said, Tom was gonna yeah, it would be and it depends if you know, if Volvo wants to give us a couple new engines and if they respond positively to that proposal then then it's more affordable to go ahead and repower our so boat. We need to but get we need to get the ten K followers on the on, <laughs> on we need to get the, we need to get the ten K followers in the next no. ninety days. I anticipate if it if if I gotta work, it's fine. If I gotta work for a boat, then I will just go every day knowing I am working for a new boat. Yep. That's it. But the whole key to this is that we downsize. And that's why we ended up doing like this today. Tom, he his back isn't gonna let him like get down there and um, remove the oil cooler and do the testing on that just to kind of see what we're working with on the boat. So. You know what we're gonna just work our plan and the one of the steps we were like what can we do today that's taking a step forward um and that is oops and that is emptying the storage units so that's what we decided to do today um like get this stuff out of there um sell it you know, make some money on it, well, whatever. This money, this money will go to pay off. We'll go to, maybe it'll go to pay off. Um, oh, my car's paid off, so that's good. Yeah, well, that's good. So we need to take your car payment and start paying the slip. Yeah. So anyway, you see, like, we're just, and we're being very open with what it takes to do this because I don't want people to think that what we're trying to do that we're set up we don't have the money to do this. We don't, but what we're doing is accessible to regular people. It really is. It's just a matter of of what you're willing to do and what you're willing to do without. So we're willing to do without a lot of things. <laughs> but we have to be strategic and that's, that's what we're doing. Kendall said, I'm glad y'all are staying focused on the main plan either way. Oh, yeah. Yep. yep. Thanks, Kendall. No, we're going to stay focused, guys. Yeah. And, it's and seriously, it's don't underestimate the encouragement that when you guys say stuff like that, like it just, it really does resonate. So I, we appreciate the, the encouragement um, because sometimes, you know, people look at us, I, don't know, I feel like our own kids look at us and go, what are they doing? But we're going to do this thing, yep. you know? And we actually now have talked about. We've actually talked. Kendall about, said we'll keep our fingers crossed. Well, yeah, we've actually talked about. It's gonna. It's good. It's both. It's gonna happen. Boat and bus. It's gonna happen. I mean. <laughs> Darn. Well, Time for Tom to take one for the team and work some corners at night. <laughs> <laughs> what can I make? If if I sell my car, do you also have alternate transportation to work? No. Uh, that would be Tom. Tom would be my alternate transportation. And it's fine, and I could do it. Yes. And we could do that, yeah. And we may do it. Because that would that's that like, would eliminate some expense. 500, that's 550 bucks a month between yeah. insurance, gas, and wear and tear, um, and the payment. Yeah. And so we may do that. And so um, I'm, she said, well, can I get a little, she asked if she could get a little Vespa or a little moped. And I'm like, no, even though it'd be cute. Now, I may end up with a, if we could end up with a, basically a really inexpensive car um we may something that we can tow behind the bus we're towing your car your truck or truck but we may we may find out you know but it may be one or the other but we're towing a truck 
but yeah if if i bought a car it would be a little beater that could be towed just as an option yeah absolutely shana um and i'm ready i'm ready to ditch it um the thing's almost paid for so how many i'm on like four months from no, 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 14 months no i thought it was closer than that i thought it was only like six months from you no you sure oh yeah. we'll look at it again but anyway yeah so a mini cooper yeah those are towable i think if i'm not mistaken you can tow those a mini cooper so i just put this or even like a ford what's the ford or chevy spark that's what it was it was a chevy spark those those tiny little things what oh, i just put this in into the into the um tow mode <laughs> well, I got some nice. Oh, yeah, look at the melons. <laughs> Creep goes, Lala, well, I got some nice melons. <laughs> no, but you should see. Look, Tom. Oh, that is such a uh, <laughs> uh, Benny Hill. Okay. Shana said, just get a Prius. Kendall's a Chevy man, also. All right, we're gonna walk in. Okay. I'm walk in to get set up. <laughs> All right. So we're going to. Okay. I'm gonna get you guys set up, so you can see us coming in. I think I'll just set them up in the, the room where we're gonna yeah. put everything. Yep. And then we'll go back and forth. Yep. All right. So let's get inside where it's cool. Yeah. And we can. Yeah. We we're we're, we're very we're very open and very welcoming of the questions and. You know, we're, yeah. What? You know, I don't want to, and I don't want to say, guys, we do have a plan. There is a plan B and a plan C. So, if, there is? To go, if, huh? There is? We'd sell everything. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, if, if, if it all goes to shit, we're selling the sell house. house. And then we'll just move to Florida and Florida will stream kayaking streams. <laughs> And I'll, and I'll go to do live streams. I mean, we have all kinds of content. We can yeah, create. there's there's a lot of things we can do. It's just we want to do the trips with the boat and the bus. And Darren, I'm not above, I'm so. not above working. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not above working at night. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. melons. Yeah, Tom, grab your melons. Me? I gotta go put this stuff down. Oh, you do that. I'll grab the melons. I'm like, I'm carrying all this shit. So I'm gonna take you guys back to the. So this is the room. This was Chef John's room. And now it is, it has an, out, an outside entrance. So this is where we are going to start staging all the things that we can sell. So you can see Tom's got multiple boards you'll see a lot of the stuff we're going to sell is tom's equipment he's been keeping stuff for a long period of time and i mean we've got baby clothes and lego sets and i don't even know what stuff is in here but that's not for sale we just bought that like computers stuff so what we're gonna do is, uh, oh, this thing, look at that. 
So this is going to end up being the space for, well, let me go back out this way. This is going to end up being the space for the marketplace. The Papa and Lala's marketplace. It's got an outdoor entrance. So when we put stuff on marketplace for sale or have an open house, garage sale, whatever, people can come in here and we'll just stage things for sale. So that's kind of the plan. We also have another empty room we could stage as well. No, no, our personal stuff will go in there. Yeah, like our stuff to like, keep. Like this stuff here will go in there. What, like the Legos? The, Legos the baby stuff. clothes. The Legos baby clothes. This is stuff that just goes to the kids. <clears throat> Shouldn't be in this room. Well, the baby clothes, the kids are probably not going to well, want, but... I'm going to get Paige. Okay. Anyway. So you guys, so this is going to be probably some of the most awkward streaming, but I'm interested to see how it goes. So this wall is going to get stacked with broadcast equipment. So. My window's still broken. <laughs> Shana said, my window's still broken. Creep said, yes, I'm drooling over here. Oh, over what? This, the mic? This thing? It is so old school. <laughs> we have similar stuff and of our parent stuff. Hey guys, I just found some. Darren said, I will buy the Rasp PIs from him. I don't know what that. These are metal models that we can do one night. Electronic DIY kit that the kids bought me. Oh, is this so what he's talking? Wait. Darren said, uh, what is, Tom, what is a, oh, the Raz, is that Raspberry? Rasp? Okay. PIs? Okay. I'll pull those out today and let you see them. We'll, we'll, we can, we're gonna we can, stream. we're going to geek stream today. I was going to say, we're going to geek stream. So we'll geek stream later. We got to get all this stuff unloaded and then Tom will be able to like show you all the shit he has. So, so like I said, this is going to be the weirdest kind of weird stream, I think, you but. Put them on the, uh, yeah, can you get the, uh, hold on, yeah. I'll get it and get you guys the, you need a tripod desperately. There we go. All right, guys, gotcha. So let's take you here yeah. and we'll put you in the corner so you can safely be out of the way but you can observe the goings on as we come and go um, we're gonna go grab the stuff out of the truck um, let me put this okay we're still good on battery Okay, let me put you on the regular Wi-Fi. Sorry, poking you all. All right. There you go. Now I can turn this off. And we'll start bringing some stuff in, okay? There you go. Ooh, SMS memory full. Can you show me that Alasis? Yeah, absolutely, creep. I'll I'll let Tom know. I think that's the thing. He said he found the box for it too. So we will um yeah. So let's 
I'm going to go help Tom bring some stuff in. His back is hurting, so um, I'm going to leave you guys here. Let me put the mic over here as well. So, all right. watch the loop. Okay. Be right back. Okay. We're just going to grab all those boxes out, totes out of the truck. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, got this. Oh, holy shit. Can we get a pet skunk? No. <laughs> Time to talk Pops into dyeing his beard and hair black and white. Will that work for you? <laughs> No, 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 that don't work. Hi, Pops. <laughs> Hi. All right, we'll be right back. Okay. Shit. All right, next.
good. All right, guys. Yep, you're doing great. Hundred pounds of mics. Unbelievable. <sighs> Shit. Oh, yeah, good idea. Hydrate. A lot of stuff to unload, you guys. A lot of stuff. All right. You okay, Club? Hi. <laughs>
be a no. Yeah, that's a lot of totes. That's only half of them. That's only half of them? Yeah. Where's the other half? In the other storage unit. Oh, in the other storage unit. Yeah. Aren't we downsizing? Yes. Actually, you know what, Laura? What? It's not true. There's only about a lot. There's like four of them that have nothing but supplies in them, like, like all the year's worth of farm supplies. Oh. That don't count. Yeah, that, that's not hard. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we actually removed this from a storage unit. This room here was Chef John's old room. And since he moved out um, a little over a week ago, I guess it's been two weeks now. Um, so all of his stuff is gone. So now we've got a place to, and this has an outside entrance, which is really nice. So. Our plan is to stage this as kind of like a, like the, the cell or get rid of room. So we're going to just put stuff out. We're going to price it, put stuff out. Tom's going to start putting stuff on Marketplace. We may have open garage sale. I don't know. It depends on what stuff we have and how much we have in of it. But that's what this room's going to be, is things to get rid of. Um, another empty room for Colin, our son, Hans, in the wild, who comes on, you see him on stream. Um, that room is going to be our keep room. So things that we are going to keep. We've got a couple of mobile home rentals down in Florida that some of this stuff might be better than the stuff we have down there. So we'll put that stuff in the keep room. But this is the sell room, sell, sell or donate room. And then the keep room, and then we'll have a trash room. So, and we'll start sorting, and sorting our things. And obviously we're not getting rid of the score. No. So that needs to go in the keep room. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this stuff all came, we just went to a storage unit and got this stuff out. So the next step we're going to do is um, Tom's going to start opening this stuff. Most of this stuff is technical broadcast equipment, computer stuff, um, I don't know, technical, mostly technical things, right? Yeah. In, in these things. So he's going to start going through it. And you know what? We just... Going to be right back. Yeah. We thought we would go ahead and stream this because, you know, part of what we're doing and downsizing our lives and you all are going on this ride with us to to move on the boat and, you know, be nomads and go on, you know, long bus tours and really not have a home per se, but just be mobile. This house is going to be rented, so we've got to get rid of the stuff. 
So it's part of the journey. Um, it might not be the most streamable content, so I don't blame you if you're like, I'm out. I don't want to watch this. <laughs> Actually, if you're into technology, you're going to want to say. But yeah, if you like tech, Tom's going to go into some tech stuff. But um, yeah, Raph is like, looks like fun, guys. Not. <laughs> well, so what happens when you have a, we had a business, um, we had a business streaming um, <laughs> came up with this concept to stream radio stations from music festivals back in the late 90s, early 2000s, and I got a contract with uh, Bonnaroo Music Festival, and we created the Radio Bonnaroo Compound and Record Hay Bale Studios. You can look it up. Um, and then I did ACL Fest, did some stuff at Hangout, I did a few other music festivals, and I was going to create this whole bit Bad Goose Music Festival in Vegas, and I was going to build this empire. And I found out, and I got I got invited to Keynes. Keynes? Is that what I want? What's the one in France? Yeah. I got invited to that and got my credentials, and I found out that um, people didn't want to pay for the service. They wanted to use it for free. And so then I was going to go down this whole sponsorship program, and I did a few, I did sell some sponsorships to Dr. Pepper for radio stations to stream from music festivals. And again, it's always the secondary job probably had a lot of potential as far as financially um, beneficial to us. But I could never get rid of Bonnaroo because I loved it so much. And Laura and I and the kids, young adults, and... I mean, we all worked it. You I mean, know, we, we all... So from 2000, a family effort 2003 too. to uh, 2021, 2022, yeah. 2021 was the last one. So, long time. And... Um, but it's been the stuff has been sitting in storage. It's for a, for a couple years. So couple we've been years. we've been paying for the storage. This stuff, this stuff here, these boards here were bought early on in the early two thousands. Analog and earned four of the five are in perfect condition. Yeah. So I think the analog stuff, some of it will have some value. A lot of it, cables, miscellaneous cables. But I have um, USB interfaces, a lot of stuff. So. I have probably 10, 12, 14, probably 16 mixing boards yeah. that are all in great shape. Original boxes. So, interfaces, unfortunately, Firewire isn't a thing anymore, but I have a whole thing of Firewire interfaces that for about two years was a was the go-to thing, you know? But, yeah. um, so anyway, Tom's going to have some stories as he does this unboxing. <laughs> So, and as we stage it, we just need to figure out how we're going to stage it. It's more like sorting. Some of this stuff's already sorted, and we may be able to leave it in the tote and just open yeah. the tote yeah. and figure out. You know, For example, we'll... here you go. Oh, I found that on the river. That was one of my river finds. Do you want to talk about creepy doll face? Yeah, I found that on the side of the river. So we use it for a Halloween box. I'm going to have to do some weeding out of the crap I have in storage. Hi, my name is Mike, and I have a hoarding problem. <laughs> so here's an example, guys, of something that is pretty pretty special right here. Creep, you're going to love this. I think anybody who is into live stream, you're going to love this. Here's a live stream board. This is a broadcast console. So it does everything that a, a broadcast board would do, mutes the, uh, mutes the monitors and everything, and this is a great streaming board. Overkill, but um, I've used it set up for many radio shows. Right, so straight out of a nightmare somewhere. Creep says, those are nice, he's talking about your board. Prior to that, man, I wish we knew each other sooner. That sounds like a blast as you were talking about your Bonnery stuff. Oh yeah. Um, Creep says, I love those boards. Cape also says Tom needs to join Electronics Hoarding Anonymous, too. <laughs> yeah, well, the hoarding is done, but you're going to find microphones in every one of these totes, and I have just an ungodly amount of, yeah, you know, these need to be sorted, so. All right, so. I'm going to give you this I'm box. a good sorter. I'm going to give you this box to start. And, Creep, you'll love this. And I'll set up this. There's, I'm keeping. I don't know if Creep said something. I'll take it. I don't know what he was referring to. Creep, I um. 
So this was the this was the processor I used that I got dialed in. This is a Inabonics stereo processor. I don't have my glasses on. It's a it's a 262 Inabonics stereo audio processor that I used for my main station signal. Um, this thing is brand new. It's amazing. I will set up my broadcast board and one kit that I'll keep that I'll keep set up. Uh, in this room that I will broadcast from, and you'll see how amazing it sounds when, I'm, when I get it dialed in. Go ahead. So Creep said, just put it all back, I'll be there in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to contribute to your own hoarding problem. Oh my god. Yeah, that this... said, now hoarding bigger stuff like buses and boats. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I may have a problem. but um... <laughs> So each one of these totes. Who has three glasses now? <laughs> this is Hang on. Just like all of Tom's glasses. Yeah. These are all cables. I mean, you know what? I mean, yeah. Cables for days. But here is studio number three. We got in so much trouble about these. So we got in some trouble here, guys. All of these draperies were, uh, were the audio visual, the head of audio visual at Bonnaroo went to India and bought all of these tapestries and we thought we would add some bling to the LED hangy lights and we thought that we would cut our tapestries up and then encase our lights in these beautiful tapestries. Well, she saw us cutting them up. She was very unhappy with us. So... She told us we could keep these if we reuse them every year, which we did for five years. Yeah. And um, yeah. so, yeah, too many stories. But anyway, yeah, so here's the type of stuff that we'll just have to sort through. It's miscellaneous cables, mice, Creep keyboards. Creep said, can't have too many cables. Anyone who says they have too many cables doesn't have enough cables. Clab says, lay in a cable, just got a new, <laughs> lay in a cable, just got a new meaning. <laughs> so... But anyway, um, yeah, each one of these totes has to, be gone, has to be gone through. So how do you want to do this? This is your show. I'm so we just need, we trying need, to figure out how to produce it. There's empty totes right there. Okay. So what we'll do... Just take out and sort. We'll, we'll, we'll put computer components in one. Computer accessories and processing equipment in one, microphones in one. Anybody need a USB dual pre? <laughs> Never been used. Oh my lord. And you guys, we don't expect to make money on this, really. It's, this is just, I think at this point, we just need stuff going on. Well, actually, that's not true. That's not true, well, guys. Okay, I, I don't know. Some of the old stuff will just, I'm sure it has no value to any anybody, like these headphones right here. They might have value. Okay. I have all KRK headphones for my personal use. And so, these were... Fine. Oh, they're fine. They're Phillips. These are like. Yep. yep. So that's not a nice shape. Those should go in trash then. Huh? Those should go in trash. Because they're just. Because yeah, it's falling apart. Real thing. Okay. Yep. Anything like that will toss. Okay. Let me grab a trash bag. Once we, once we sort, then we'll, um, then we'll test, and I'll test every board, and then I'll list it for sale on Marketplace, eBay. I could do, I have enough equipment to do podcast kits, so I could do two microphones, uh, a computer interface, um, 
mic, mic, boom arms, mic stands, tabletop stands, whatever we wanted. I could, I could put them together as kits and sell them that way. Um, bring your own laptop to do that. A lot of these really pretty colorful cables, these cables are crap. I'm not happy with them. Um, well, like I said, I, you know what, if, if we know that they're, then... Well, I'm just going to sell them as a bundle. I'm just going to sell them off the bag of them. Okay. I mean, they're, they're all, they'll work, but they're just not, they're not the next ones. They're not these. These are lifetime warranty. All of these cables here are lifetime. Let me put this down so they can kind of see what you're doing here. Do we need more light in here? I don't know. Can you guys see okay? Okay, here we go. Computer, computer. So this is, com it does, what, can you tell me what, where I'm putting computer this Computer tote, just start a computer tote. Right what's, there, right there. what's in here? That's, that's accessories. Really what we need to do is get baggies and label each one of these if we're going to sell them individually. Well, I don't, okay. I don't know. I don't have a plan yet. Tossing anything. Yeah. Here's. Yeah, but tr you don't need creep. You don't need the stuff that like doesn't work and stuff either. Everything here works. Everything here works. There's nothing here that doesn't work. Everything okay. in these totes works. Creep said, "Oh, lighting is good." List on Discord so Creep has the chance to buy it first. I'm going to put it on Discord, Creep, and I'll let you. There you go. Yes, absolutely. That's a good idea. Because there's there may be other streamers and things like that. So if you guys know of people looking for equipment, let them because know. Because it's gonna be it's gonna be a good price. This is not we are not out there to try to gouge people on older equipment. Like fair market value. That's it. And unless you're a friend, then you might get friend pricing. I was gonna say there there will be friend pricing. There will be friend pricing. It's the reason Laura's not in sales, guys. <laughs> we need a new boat. We also need friends. Friends don't let friends drive drunk, honey. Okay. No, listen, we will, uh, we will. The goal is to get rid of this hey, stuff. Hey, Memphis. The goal is to get rid of this stuff. <laughs> Memphis said, what are we selling the kids? No. no, we already got rid of them. No. Anything destined for the trash, send to me, please. Who's that? Creep. Yeah. I do minor repair. Yeah, we have a... Ah, I do have some things for you then. We had a lightning strike one year, and all they need are transformers. And they're DBX units. And so I was going to actually repair them between now and... Because I, I know that they have resale value, but that's something you want to do. Can, you can do it. Creep said I have transformers. There you go. Okay. That this, this stuff in here is all trash. So how do you want to, because I don't know this equipment. It is very hard for me I'm to even it. start. I'm, I'm starting my sort piles. Okay. So, okay. So I'll just let you do your sort piles and then we'll figure out how to package them. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then I will, yep. I'll back off. Um, yep. Try and figure out how to be helpful here. You are being helpful. You just continue to be you. 
All right, not what I expected, but I have a tote full of computers. These are, let me tell you, let me tell you about these computers. These are the best streaming computers for anybody watching right now. If you want a top of the line Pentium Pony, Pentium right here. Pony. Right here. This, and we will do, and we will do weekly payments on PayPal. So <laughs> we will we will help you build your business. Oh, oh this my your, God. This is, yep. Here. Okay, so Wrath is going, you don't need it, Creep. Um, Creep is like, you're right, Wrath, but I want it all. <laughs> I wish he said Ziploc bags. Yep. That's what we're going to do. T, yeah. bags for sorted cables and wires. Yes. Yes. Here. Creep said, I'll take them all. Box them back. Take my money, please. <laughs> so, <laughs> Darren says, do you do layaway, Tom? <laughs> Absolutely. We will do layaway. Memphis says, does it still have Windows 95 on it? <laughs> no, those do not. Oh, this is a nice... Uh, yeah, that goes in that box. Wow. This is better than the one I have at work. Yep. I might need this for work. Okay. Okay. Okay, can I, make, can I take this to work? Yeah. Yes. Maybe. All right, I'm going to put it in this box. Why don't you go in a chair and sit right there? Why don't you go in a chair and sit? That was kind of like when you told me to go get a chair and sit in the back of the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I think the same thing. You know it's not meant to be. Uh, <laughs> but then I can just hand you stuff. Shana said Sharpie everything. You too. Creep is, he said, what operating system is on the computers? We'll have to boot these in a little bit and find out. I don't know. I can boot them right now. I have a monitor up here. Well, just set them to the side. You can answer that question. Yep. Okay, so these go over Ready? there next to the tote. Guys, I got one of them realistic. I got one of them realistic Radio Shack microphones with non-off switch. This one right here. We're gonna start the bidding at 1995. 1995 layaway plan. We will do four easy payments of four dollars and ninety nine cents each. That'll bring your grand total to just under twenty dollars. Right there, realistic Radio Shack microphone with an on-off switch. On-off switch works great, and it's got the screws just have a little patina on them. Four easy pays. Right there. Boom. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Okay, so, Rath says, okay, who's closest to Lala? She needs some, she needs help pricing this stuff with tape and Sharpies. Memphis said, seriously, any sound equipment or camera equipment available? That was a question. Yes. Sound equipment or camera equipment? Yes. Sound equipment. What kind of camera equipment are you looking for? I do have, um, I do have some USB... I do have some USB cameras. Memphis is like, Tom, shut up and take my money. <laughs> okay, so there's a, here's a tote full of cables. Memphis, some on the way, says some on the way. He's not really kidding. All Radio Shack does is electronics. He said, going to list on Discord. <laughs> Okay, so what are we, um, so we can, let me give you another tote, an empty one here. Like this one, this here. one here. Okay, that's going to be for just for, so these are all the same type of, these are all XLR cables. Right, do we, you want me to, we do need how to, do you want me to bundle these? Bundle them in pairs. In pairs. So does it matter length? Yes. It they does. should be matching length. We should mark the length. Okay, so I'm putting... Here, let me adjust you, chat, so you can see both of what's going on. We have the pile to his left is what I'm working on, and he is over here. Do you guys want me to put a table up? I don't know. Like, yeah, maybe. 
I don't know. I well, yeah, actually, because if you put a table up, we can put totes under the table, and we also have a surface area. Do you have more tables for, like, here? I have one table. Can you, yeah, just for this wall? Then you can put stuff on top, but you can also put totes underneath. Yeah, but we'll... What? I'm trying to get myself, I'm worried about myself. I'd rather stand or sit on a chair and do this oh, than okay. to kneel on the ground. So let me, see what I, let me see what I have for tables. Get a table and I'll, we'll put you right here. I'll be back, chat. You guys talk, talk amongst yourselves, drool. Oh, hey, hey, just as I'm, just, just as you're leaving, just as I'm leaving to go look for tables, let me show you what I have. SM58s, SM58s, SM7Bs, and I have a plethora of two-channel USB focus rights that are all good. I have probably eight or ten of those. Uh, every mic pouch I open there's two more S there's two more SM58s in it. Some of this stuff I will not will not be available online or to anybody because I've already sold some of it. But um, you guys know what these are? These are impedance changers, XLR out, RCA in out. Those are cool. But honestly, uh, those work great for anybody with home studios. So, two tables, right? Chat, where'd you go? I don't even know. I need to put you on my arm. I lost you again. Hmm. Huh. I literally lost you. <laughs> yeah, that I I know where the the stream camera is. It's my chat phone. I <laughs> Oh, here we go. Right here. There we go. Alright, let me see what we got going on. Whoo wee! Oh, Memphis. Yeah, we can also do trade trade for credit at the store. Sweet. You may want to keep a few XLR cables. They go bad a lot. Hi, Freedom. How's it going? Good to see ya. It'll be easier on your backs if you use tables. Yeah, he's going to go get one. I'm just going to sit on this little... <sighs> um, have four microphones and about 20 XLR cables. I am super happy, y'all. My first guest checkout for my second Airbnb room is this morning. Oh, perfect. Freedom, since we talked to you, Tom and I have been talking more about Airbnb in this place. So we're actually, we're, we're very interested in learning more. So this room right here, this is where um, we were saying earlier, this is where we had uh, one of our renters, Chef John, when he was renting this room. Um, he moved out, so this is now going to be our downsizing cell room. We're gonna, everything in here will get sold because then we'll be able to use, there's an exterior door, so people can just come in here and it'll be like the marketplace, you know? And then keep, every, it'll be nice. It'll be everything, if we say, hey, like so we find something in the house that we're like, yeah, that's just a sell or donate, then we'll put it in this room. So it'll be nice. I have two SM58s. I'm definitely interested in the SM7B. Okay, I'll I'll need to I'll reread this to Tom when he gets back, creep. I'm serious. I'll come up and design y'all a custom Airbnb AI like I did for my first listings. Five star every time. <laughs> nice. Yeah, let we'll we'll um we have so much like freedom right now. We're gonna we're gonna focus on getting everything out. You know what I mean? All the personal things out of these rooms. We have, we've been in this place for, geez, 20, oh goodness, like 20 years, 
at least we've been in this house. So there's a lot of stuff. And we had our kids here. So, well, didn't have our kids here, but our kids were here um, multiple times. And so these closets and everything are just filled with stuff. And so we're getting rid of all the knickknacks. The kids are taking their stuff. Um, once we finish decluttering and getting rid of everything we own, basically, except for what we need, um, then we're going to start patching things in this house. There's just things that need to be worked on. Ceilings in all the rooms need to be done. We had the roof replaced, but there was a lot of leaky stuff. So we need to replace most of the ceilings in all of these rooms. It's Most of it's cosmetic, but that's a project. Repainting everything, you know, and then, then we'll be ready to, we'll be ready to talk about that, that next step. And so I so appreciate you. We will definitely, you'd be a great resource. And congrats on, on that. I'm so glad you're making a run of that Airbnb. That is really awesome. Some good money to be had in that. Okay, so Tom, I said I would read this back to you. Okay. okay. Um, so Freedom said you may want to keep a few of the XLR cables that go bad a lot. Creep said I have four microphones and about 20 XLR cables. Um, Creep said I have two SM58s. But he said, I'm definitely interested in the SM7B. Okay. Okay. And Freedom just checked out his second Airbnb room this morning. So I told him, we've got, he said, I'll come up and design you all custom Airbnb AI like I did for my first listing. Five star every time. <laughs> so I told him we're... Once we declutter, we can figure out if we're going to rent or Airbnb. Yeah, we were. Yeah. But we have so much to do. Yeah, get all this stuff. This will be easier for you guys. Oh. Um, Clab says, any afterburner rockets in there? <laughs> Creep, this room is where the magic will happen. AI, write the listing description, give us tips, themes, etc. Use special stuff in AI. Talk to guests at the listing. Oh, wow. Oh, AI even suggests the place to eat locally in activity. Memphis, oh, Memphis said, hold on. Lauren? Memphis said we can also do trade for credit at the store, Tom. Okay. What? I'm... No, that's not here. It goes there. Okay, do you want you want a chair for this side? I will get one in a second. I'll Just get you a chair. Thanks, baby. Thank you, baby. Tom brings stuff. Tom brings stuff to set up a studio for my podcast. There we go. No problem. And then we can do a trade for a new grill or stuff. <laughs> there we go. I like trade. I like trade. Said, I'm working on building a mobile studio for stream and broadcast. Could use a small grill. <laughs> <laughs> See? We're going to work a deal here. Okay, so can you guys see the table there and see Lala? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay. Freedom, my suggestion, start with a single room, then let that room pay for the furniture costs. Oh. That's this room here will be the one that has its own bathroom. 
Yeah, and an external exterior entrance freedom. So we thought this probably would be a good first room to start with, right? Because, you know, you can come in and leave, and if we outfit it with kind of the basics, like a hotel room would have, um, just like for overnighters, then pay off for the entire house. Never do Instabook. Just talk to guests. Always ask what brings you to this town and how many nights are you wanting to stay? I'd love to be your host, etc. Oh, that's cool. The bad guests or people who are problems will not converse with you back and forth. Ah, good tip. And Tom is a good talker. He loves to talk to people. And you're right, if, if they don't talk to him back, he usually loses patience pretty quick. Like, mm. If they don't respect the owner enough to have a conversation, are they really going to respect your place? Yeah. Right? So that's good advice, Freedom. Like empty out one room, a nice bed, end table, TV, then really clean the bathroom. You're ready to rock. About $1,500 a month. Sounds good. <laughs> and we're in Nashville. Okay. So Freedom, what about any other amenities? Like, you know, hot. so yeah, if, do, do they then use the kitchen or is it just like renting the room with an exterior entrance, almost like a hotel room? And we just have like, say, a coffee pot, small microwave, you know what I mean? Like a little, a little convenience cart or something, yep. you know? Freedom said, yeah, our guests use the kitchen. Yeah, I was not going to give access to our kitchen. And it's absolutely amazing meeting these people. I wouldn't trade it for the world. They've been able to make connections. My guest who just checked out is an EA sports developer. And you know how I am. We talked AI all morning at checkout. That's cool. Cool. We rent the entire thing in our county. They want us um, to not have kitchens in rooms for safety. Okay, got it. Yeah, I was thinking more just, you know what I mean, um, a microwave and a coffee pot, kind of like a hotel room. Um, and then that's probably going to be more like one night, one night stayers or people who don't plan on cooking and don't need a kitchen. But I guess it really wouldn't matter if there wasn't anybody here except us, right? I don't know. Well, it just depends on what we got to, then we got to totally secure that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, add a guest Wi-Fi? That's smart. As long as you disclose what's there, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, because if people, because if that's what they need, you know, basically just a hotel room, Oh, we got that. And they can go out. We're not that far from other conveniences like restaurants and grocery and, you know, whatever you might need. Yeah, microwave is fine. It just depends. Guests really love that. Personal touch. No, no, so. right there. Oh, thanks. Okay, good. Ooh. So, so roll your towels, always talking to the guest, always call Airbnb if guest breaks the rules. You can send a booking change. It's totally your house, you're in control. Never let the guest haggle price. Oh, oh no. No. I let my AI do price for me. <laughs> yeah, oh, food delivery, totally. Yeah. We also need, the other thing we need to do before we can do all that is the driveway. Hold on. Scooch back. Right Thank you. And tell me what you need. Like, if you need, why don't you sit in your chair and I can get you stuff. Can we, one cable at a time? Yeah. I'm fine with that. Just sit down so your back doesn't hurt. Okay. I'm just sitting here. Okay. Jack. There you go. And untangling is have small I need um I need some, some big ziplocs. Like, 
Ziplocs, please. Like, um, gallon size? Yeah. Or? Okay. Yeah. Gallon and quart. All right, we're going to have to probably get some more at the store. These are anything that's red and green are, are cables that I made with Noitrix uh, connectors, so I know that they're good. These would be for more of a permanent install. Um, you know, really use these. Not these are kind of not flexible, but I used to fabricate all my own cables. So Can anything you find a sharpie? So anything that you see that's multicolor. Um, Stuff. We'll, we'll need one. Yeah. Sharpie it later. You'll we'll be able to see them. After you figure out what you're going to do. Okay. Thing is, I just gonna do you want, just say quarter gallon for these, because I don't know if there's going to be more. Um, right there, whatever the size that is. Gallon. Is this all that's going in it? No, there, there's five per oh. coat. Oh, okay. Those ones that are in there, we yeah. were going to measure, and we were just going to put like the length one, the red length ones, like that's. Well, are the purple ones all one length? Huh? Are the purple ones a length? They don't know. Are they the same? That's not. Okay, so they're not color coded by length. No, not by length. But I think those are six or eight foot. Uh, that's eight foot. These are the same length. Those are eight foot. These are eight foot. Those Do you want good. me to put them in a bag labeled eight foot? Yeah, those are XLR, XLR eight foot. And we can just start a gallon bag that's... Do you want a gallon bag that's eight foot and a gallon bag, you know, you mean, do you yeah. want them by feet? I do. Serious. What are you talking about? I can mark, I can put six foot and eight foot so you can just measure them. That's being serious. Oh. Do we have a, no, do we have a um, yardstick? Yeah. Instead of putting a mark on the wall? Yep, travel nurses, DoorDash, yep. Nice, fix the new rate, I have an issue with it. After a guest versus just smarter, not doing the deal with those problems. Once you have 10 reviews, you get really good guests all the time. Oh, cool. So soon you get like a few people, nightly rentals and a few good reviews of people as long as you host. Okay, cool. I use that Walmart freezer bags, they're cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, I usually get stuff on sale. Okay. Is this permanent? All right, this is eight foot, right? That's what she said. Yeah, I think so. Eight foot? You said 
this yellow one was six feet? So the, the, the top of the door jam is seven feet. Be the size that I got three and six. can just go into any one of those. I'm just going to tie them like that for now. All right. Do you want them? Well, um, do you want them in the accessory box, or do you want them in, in, in a? In our own. Okay. There's going to be a lot of them. Okay. And then these these ones here. These ones um, do not go in with those other ones because they're different. They're different quality. But I do have another. Those are RCA to one quarter. A gallon bag for RCA to one quarter. Good job, Laura. Thank you for your help. That, what a great job. Headphone amp. So this can go into accessory? the accessory. Or you want a separate box for that kind of accessory? Um, I'm going to put headphone amps and interfaces in one box. So, so audio? Yeah, because I need to test it. So I'll have it. an audio box and a computer box, OK? OK. So this one, what is this? That's a processor. That's going to go Is that going to go in an audio box? No. That's going to go into a separate box. So I'll just put that over yep. here for now. I'm just going to have network cables down there. 
Okay, so this goes into this goes into that box that you just put that um, audio that, box that, or audio accessory box. box or audio box. Audio box. This one goes into audio box. Now, do you want do you want these in any bags or anything? No. Okay. Wow. That is holy camoly. I don't know if you can see outside there. You can see there's a storm a brewing. I just threw it in the bin. That's fine. Everything's good. I'll just wait here so you don't have to. Need to hear you a little better. 
to go chat. Hello? Hello. Hi. Hello. Six. Six. Hello. Hi. Yeah, Colin came at these moving stuff. Oh, wait. Yeah, I would say that too. He doesn't move stuff today. Oh. All right, so this is just a... Very long one. Yeah, so that is a... Hey, hello. How are you? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Six. Yeah. Were you in that? Yeah. yeah. Right, right as the wind hit? Yeah. Actually, I actually have video of it. Oh, really? I, well, I have my, I, I it have was my pretty system. intense. I tried yeah. to get chat to be able to see it. and We're streaming, by the way, just so you know. Okay. Yeah, because I had my phone up in the window. And I just I was looking at the weather. And I was it's like, a six foot? Yeah. I need another bag for six feet wood. So, see the storm there? Ooh. So I got some good shots of it. And I'm driving, driving. And then, like, right when I get to an opening, it's like the sky gets crazy looking. You can see that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Yeah. When I get to, when I get to this intersection, I get through. It's a good one. Boom. Yep. There it is. Yeah, you caught the leading edge of it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's cool. Whoa, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you saw it. I was right on the edge of it the entire yeah. time. So like, and then I was like, I'm gonna go straight, and I was like, No, I'm gonna. Oh, look how fast, look how fast the sky is moving. When I stop. Yeah. Because like when I zoom, it's like. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, that looks that looks bad. And then I think you start seeing the trees start whipping right about here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't really tell there. Right at the top of the hill, you see it. Yeah, I see twenty there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so right here I go to get to the center line. Look at these trees. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. outside, yeah. I was like, I turned the camera to the window because all of a sudden, everything outside was just, just sideways. Over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it almost looks like a tornado, doesn't it? <laughs> With everything flying. Yeah, I see somebody. And, and, and I don't know if you catch it here, but like the trash cans in this driveway go flying. Yeah. But Well, that's our road. Or yeah, just down from just ours. Down from yeah. Yep. Driving yeah, that's what we saw was just all the stuff starting to whip by the window. This guy. Yeah. yeah. It was really windy. Like, get up here and then all of a sudden it's like, oh. Yeah, that's what went through. Yep. All of the people out here like running and it's just like. Oh my gosh, look at all the cars. Watch, watch these douchebags. Oh, cuts like, from the pool. Yeah, they're just like. Okay, move everybody. Wow. <laughs> that's a cool car right there. Okay, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, and then, good. yeah. Yeah, that's cool, Colin. Anyway, all right, oh, they recorded it, it was cool. Yeah. That, that, Colin, that stuff along the left wall is, is all my stuff. Yeah, I know. Okay. Hey, Lola? Yeah, batting down the hatches, what? Yeah, I'm just, we're just. Memphis said it came through Memphis three hours ago or so, have fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's the heavy wind is gone. I mean, all right, Lala, ready? Yep. Oh, Clab said hi, Colin. The ghost of renters passed. Audio. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, that's funny, T. <laughs> Audio. Okay, six feet. Audio.
this, these go with those two computers that are sitting right there, that are sitting against the wall. Okay, let me see if I can grab this one. Hi, Dixie. Hi, Dixie. We're sorting shit. Actually, not shit. Yeah, shit. Much wanted things. Yeah. We're sorting. This is six feet cables. Okay, here we go. Next tote. So do you have another, you have a place you want to put, like once I fill a bag of cables where you want to... Uh, yeah, there's an empty tote there. Those are for cables. This one here? Yep. That will just fill it with different cables. So this is six feet cables yep. here. So, okay. This goes in the uh, internet one. Here we go. Computer tote. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> oh my gosh. Dusty. And this one here, this one here is all extension cord, which is great. I'm home for like 10 minutes before I have to go do more adulting. Once I'm done with that, I shall come and hang out if you're still on. Who's that? <laughs> Dixie. What she She's been running, she has to go for like 10 more minutes and do some adulting. She's been adulting today. That's awesome. Glad somebody is. <laughs> now we're adulting. We're adulting. Okay. We're just we're just sharing our adulting with you. It makes it feel a little bit less like adulting. Okay. Nice. So we are. What were the bases? So we need one more. We need one more tote for these mic stands. All right. Hold on. I'll get one. There'll be an empty one here in a second. Okay. These are mic stands. All right. Let me just, let me put them, I'm going to put the mic stands under the, in there. It needs a bigger box anyway, so I'll just stick them in here. Oh, here. There you go. Right there. Thank you. It's coming together. Microphones. Fantasy, oh, this is the fantasy studio. <laughs> Here. You guys want to talk about the fantasy studio? Ooh, look at that. Can you see that, chat? Yeah, you walk out the door and that's Holy so, so camoli. Well. I was going to walk up to the back door because I was like, the wind, the rain was sideways. Yep. And I was like, oh. Here. No, no way. Let me take you over here. So nobody bit on the... Whoa, shit, Tom. Okay. <sighs> we have like a hurricane out there. Big rains. Here you go. All right. There's your view of nature. Can we get a panda? Dixie said my adulting is not shareable or fun. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, hang in there. We're here for you when you get back. Just be careful out there. Is everything charged? Hmm. I probably actually could charge my other battery. Actually, you know what? We've got the, um, we have the Jackery that is fully charged. We probably have two days worth of charges, yep. don't we? Oh, is this all my stuff? Yep. I think I know, that's a power cable. This is a accessory. Look at all these computer keyboards, guys. 10 key, no less. Tons of mouses. It, does that go over there with the mic stuff? Uh, I can put them up there with the mics. Or I can put them in a bag. Oh. Yeah, we can start a, mic, a big bag of those. I like being able to see the stuff. Well, that's why I like, um, I like transparent totes, actually. These are three feet. Is this network? Oh, that's an HDMI. We don't have a. We don't have a Here's another HDMI right here. We don't have a tool for HDMI's yet. All right, let me just put them in a pile on this side. Here's another one, small one. This is that computer. This is that one with computer accessories. Okay. No, no, the other one. I'm sorry, audio accessories. Audio accessories? Yeah, that goes with one of those focus rights. Okay. And then you got two of those. Power. And then power. Yeah. All right. Just in case, power out. Yeah. Yeah, yay. Yeah, the Jackery. That's a great investment. Yeah, it's in the back seat of the truck. Well, but if power goes out, it's perfect for what yeah, we need. It is. Because we could literally do two days on that, right? Yeah. Okay, so this one here, this one here is just a HDMI. What is all the, those things? Okay. Uh, this one goes in that computer. Okay. So this is a, it's a power oh. cable. Power cable. Sharpie. Yeah, power cable. All right, this one here is a, um, it's a miscellaneous type. Do we need this last? It's trash. This is for the microphone. Okay. So, I will. Where's the trash bag? Right behind you? Yep. Yeah. Can you, can you, what are all these things? I'm throwing them away. Why? They're from lights that I threw away. They're from these lights? Used to, these, used, these used to go in those lights that we used to hang up. They were clamps for the lights. Oh. Remember those silver... Is there something else? Can we can we do can we put cameras on those? No. No? No. no. They're trash. They're trash. Yeah. Okay. Until you say, you know what, we should have kept those. Well, I don't know. And I mean, I don't know what you would use them for. I don't know. They've been in this box for ten years. They've never been out of it. Anything needed for the bus no. to clamp and hang anything? I, I can clamp, but I don't know. I guess we can. Well, because like what you can hang stuff. So I don't, I just don't know. Yeah, I just, this is, I, I am committed to getting rid of them. Okay. Then here. I'm committed to getting rid of them. Just I'm just saying, do you don't, you want to sell them or? I don't no? want to get rid of any of this stuff. So I, that's why it's been in storage for 10 years. 
Okay. So I'm well, if you if you can't think of a reason to keep it, then I guess. Well, I can. I think sometime in our life we'll need a clamp thing like that that we can clamp to. Okay. Okay. So. This feels really good. Good. I know what that was. There's a gold threaded thing. Oh, we here? There's a gold threaded thing. That some bitch is worth. Okay. It's worth what? No, it's worth nothing. It's, it's stripped. That's why it's taped up. All right, there you go. Thank you, bye. Okay. Yay, Tom. All right, chat. <laughs> Cleaned out a box and threw shit away. You know where that one goes? Uh, no, where? Audio? Uh, huh? It goes in your miscellaneous audio adapter right here. You have a, you know, an adapter one. Yep. This one? Yep. This one goes into the computer box because this is a... VGA cable. <laughs> there you go. Good job, honey. Alright, next one. Is that a blanket or laundry out there waving in the wind? Oh, the rug? Is the rug, did the rug fly away, Tom? No. Oh. Yep, it's actually a rug. <laughs> it was a rug that Tom was going to... Oh, they might be looking at the grill cover. Oh, yeah, maybe the grill cover. Okay, here we go. We need tassels for Tom's Speedo stream. Yep. Hi, Mix. Yep, it's the barbecue cover. Right. You called it. Cable. How's it going, Mix? What's going on this weekend? We're ending our week on, on a productive note. If you've ever seen so many keyboards in your life. And most of them, we'll only keep a few of them. This was one of those totes that was just a bunch of shit. yeah. Well, until it's and this is this is network right over there. Yeah, that's a that's a USB to. Um, oh. Uh, well. Yeah, actually, that's good for um. Uh, what do you call those speakers? Stream speakers. Where's my stream bag? Right there in the hallway. Hey, Colin. Sir? I don't close that door anymore. I don't close that slider anymore? Yeah. I opened it back up. I just grabbed it out of habit. Yep. Mick said, we're good, been raining a lot, so not much coop work done, but it's fun watching the baby chickens explore the lawn, and there's only five in my office now. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> aren't you gonna, you're gonna miss them when they're bigger and not in your office anymore, aren't you? Mama chicken. Yeah. Because then they don't get. Yep. 
That's a shorty. There's a shorty. Yeah. That's just going to have to go in there like it is, right? Yeah. yeah. Those are handy to find those shorties once in a while. Wow. All right, now it's done. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? Storm's past us. Done running, Colin? No, I want my office back hanging out in the kitchen with my computer sucks. I miss my views. <laughs> These were, these, okay. These are not even in a, in a nice, nicely wrapped state or anything. They're, they're so stiff, I can't even wrap, I can't even loop them. Power. Power, 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 how low? Yeah. That's computer. Super power and HDMI. Yeah, this must have been a leftover box. Computer. So this must have been a computer box that was just miscellaneous computer stuff? Yeah. With a little bit more. Oh, nice. May be able to donate some of this, these mice and keyboards to the Trash. school district. Trash? Yeah. I was gonna say I tried to I tried to make sure I named the stream appropriately. Like literally, it's sorting they're, shit. They're waiting for the good stuff. They're like, they're, it's coming. <laughs> if anybody's there, <laughs> they want to see what else. They want to see what else is good. But dude, we have network cables for days. Nix is a ninja lurker. Hi, Hammer. Hammer's back. Creep said, I'm starting to go fund me so I can buy Caribou Ranch. Tom and I can can run the recording broadcast studio. Lala can run whatever she wants to run. We can get some major music stars in there. There, there go. you go, Caribou Ranch. There we go. Hammer says, such a ninja, I still can see you. Oh, MX, a ninja lurker. We have a town and island called Caribou here. And I thought you meant up this way for a minute. Hey, Cappy, how's it going? Hi. Are they, are they saying caribou? Good to see you. Huh? Are they saying caribou? Caribou, yeah. Is caribou, Maine? Is that what you're talking about? I've... Caribou Ranch. Oh. Loki said, I don't know a man over 40 that doesn't have a huge box of cables. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I, yes. I am only keeping the mice that are um, optical. I'm not keeping the ones with the little, the little rubber balls in them. Yeah, the little balls in them. No. You mean the um, uh, hard-boiled egg yolk uh, holder? Yolk ball, yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at you. Got caught in the rain? Well, I, I had to move the stuff outside, so oh. it's going to be raining for an hour and a half. So. Uh, that's a... Computer? No, oh, the HDMI. Yeah. Oh, I was missing a bunch of HDMI cables. Oh, well, we're not anymore. I want that one. You have a screwdriver in here with you? How big? 
Feels very good. Okay. If you go into the left drawer of the desk, there's one in there. I think there's one in there. That goes into the um, audio one. Hey guys, another tote. Yay! Sweet. And look what's happening, Tom. Like, isn't that cool? So, so what's happening, guys, on this side of the room? So you guys can see. So, we've got the different boxes, all with their own particular, oops, with all with their own things in them. See? So everything is getting sorted. Everything is getting sorted. Tom's doing really, really well. Oh my gosh, more, more straps. Oh man. Ratchet? Are those ratchet straps? Yeah, these are black ones. Oh, these, were, these, are for, these are nice. These are nice. Those were from the inside of your trailer. Yeah, those are nice. Is um, Creep here? He is. Hold on, let me catch up with chat before you wow them with something else. Yep, I'm in the same state as Lala and Papa Tom. Our RCA, Loki said our RCA cable's officially dead. No. No? Nope. Look. Blob eating a war beast. Right here, right here. Another Elisa's mixing board, Creep. <gasps> what is this? Somebody's reading. Maka waka! Woo! 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 It's a, it's a maka raid! <laughs> Woo! Yay! Maka! Sweet! Woo! Welcome, raiders! Thanks for that raid, Maka. What have you been up to? Thanks for coming, bringing your people here. Sweet. Woo. <laughs> Thanks for that, Cliff. Thanks for that shout out from Mucka. How's everything going, you guys? Welcome on in. Yay, yay, yay. What were you up to today, Maka? We are, so today, you guys raided on a day which it probably isn't one of our more exciting streams. It actually is. It's a riveting day. Unless you really, really like geeky, broadcasting, techie stuff. She can't even explain it. I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. You know what, I'm looking at all of the stuff that is coming out of these boxes and I will admit, I cannot explain this. I can't. So normally, guys, I'm Lala, Laura, Lala. People call me Lala. This is Papa Tom. Papa Tom. We do a bunch of different kinds of streaming. I guess you would call it variety IRL. We're mainly we're mainly extreme adventurers, you know, like, like really crazy stuff, like going to a storage unit and seeing if it's going to fall on us, stuff like that. Like yeah. Really. No. Nah. Right yeah. Um, no, so we are, we've got a couple of big projects. Um, we've got a boat that we're downsizing our lives and planning on moving onto a boat. So what you're seeing today is us downsizing our lives. Um, and we committed to showing all facets of what that was going to take to quitting our jobs, downsizing our lives, renting our house, like doing all the things. So today we are doing the downsizing part and it's not the sexy part, but it must be done. Um, Yep, we've got, thanks for the, uh, thanks Bill for the follow. 
We've got um, a 41 foot Chris Craft Commander. We're gonna be moving aboard and living on that. We've also got a school bus that we purchased um, earlier this year that we're converting into an RV and we plan on doing um, a loop around the US. Woo, thunder. We're having storms. We're having storms right now. And, um, and so we plan on doing a lot of uh, content and traveling on the schoolie once we have it done. But we do stream um, the conversion process. Normally, we also do yoga on Sundays. So we, we're kind of into that healthy eating, um, active living, and also cheat days, <laughs> like yesterday when we ate a bunch of fried food um, at a really awesome restaurant in Gatlinburg. So, you know, welcome to it. That's, we're, we're about a lot of things. And um, we have a really strong community here that just is uh, so supportive. Yeah. So welcome on in, um, give us a follow, and I hope you guys will uh, come along with us as in well. A, Thanks again, Maka, for that raid. Yes. Awesome. Thank you, Maka. I love it when people bring their folks here. You're amazing. It's a big deal. Of all the people you can raid and you chose us, it always is an honor. So thank you. It is. It is. And uh, so today what we're doing is um, for for years we had, um, I was, I'm, a, I'm an engineer by trade, uh, both satellite communications, broadcast engineering, and most recently I do uh, sales management. But um, we have a side business, which was a live streaming company for radio broadcast and um, we've we've continued we grew that company up until 2019 and right before COVID we were we had made a decision just to do one music festival a year which was uh, Radio Bonnaroo uh, it's a big radio compound but then during COVID they've changed their direction of what they do and we held on to the equipment for three more years and I was trying to figure it out if I was in a Try to try to get back into that space of doing live streams from music festivals and we have opted to liquidate so i have a lot of really cool both vin not vintage but basically 20 years of equipment that's in the storage unit and um it was in three different storage units up until today and so what you see here is part of it um, one part of it but we need to get through this first so that we can um, get the other stuff in here. But we will be selling this uh, to other streamers. Um, we will be no donating some of it and the stuff that is absolutely not usable, we will recycle the best we can. Yep. So we really are big into sustainability and I really don't want to throw it in landfill if I can help it. So, yeah. And this is our son, uh, Hands in the Wild, AKA Colin. He is also a streamer uh, and um, Mainly cooking streams, but he's I, yeah he was he was, yeah, was. <laughs> he's retired, um, but he was a he was a great cooking streamer and he does part hop in our streams now and then yeah so but um, he's moving out of the house and anyway we are downsizing our lives like Lala said but uh, welcome and thank you and please give us a follow there you go good job honey all right so, so here we go. Um, and we've got box. So what Tom is doing is he's got all of these totes and they just got a bunch of stuff in them. So he is, he is taking things out and I am putting them into totes according to types of things. So that is what's happening. So, so budgie bird. I love watching downsizing, working on that myself. Sweet. Yeah, it's a process, you, you know, and it's tedious. Um, you know, I like watching people go through their junk because I'm interested to know what junk people have. Sorry, but I'm a real reality TV junkie, so I like this stuff, actually. Um, Tom's got a lot of the same stuff, though. So I was like, man, if I was watching this, I'd be like, how many keyboards can I watch come out of a box? You need a mixing board? So. I was thinking that I might need a mixing board. I think you want one of those QSCs. I assume you'll yes. be keeping the storage unit. My no, QSC? Loki, cool. we're, we're getting rid of that. We can't afford storage units once I quit my job. <laughs> we All can't right. afford anything. So what we just found, what we just found, and I knew I had this, is I just found another Alesis analog with the digital audio interface for your computer. So you can play back. It has a... Um, oh, the, 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 the integrated... Uh, computer interface? Yeah, digital sound card. Oh, so yeah, right there. Yep. 
Right. And so yeah. I know cool. these work and these work really good. Well, really here, well. let me let me take it over so Stream can see it, just so you guys can. It's an Alesis Multi Mix Eight. It is a little bit older. It's probably right at the right at the eight year time frame in age. Uh, they were used twice. Yep. I bought them for a music festival in Austin called ACL Fest, and I needed to downsize my setup. There we go. Uh, I feel like Vanna White. <laughs> yep. And there so you go. I bought these to take down there. I had. Um... Yeah, Creep was like, "Show me, please. That's awesome." <laughs> Creep. So that's that's exactly like the one that you um, have already. That's got your name on it. You've already won. So we might do. We might actually do some. We, we could we do, could do some giveaways. We might do some giveaways. That would be fun. Why don't you guys decide how we can do some giveaways and maybe somebody can win some of these. Uh, the other cool thing you can do is you could win a box of keyboards. Before you, sit down, <laughs> you, could, you could literally do a stream on how you set it up. Yeah, and do what we did for um, uh, um, Skydeck. Yeah, how like we labeled everything and like I was able to set it up without the labels at the end, but we could put together a full. A full streaming we, podcast kit. And we, show someone probably like, eight of them. We could actually put together, yeah, we could give away a podcast kit or streaming kit. That would be cool. Yeah. Um, if you guys don't mind, can I ask you, refresh your stream so we can get credit for your views. We are really, really trying to get those up, and I really appreciate the raid. And this is probably more viewers than I've had in a long time. So if you don't mind refreshing refreshing your your connection so that we get credit for you being here that would be amazing and i did this earlier oh is that another computer we have these we have these extremely robust pentium ponies we call these pentium ponies yeah, yeah we have no idea what operating system is on but we have we have tote loads of these things and we will be booting these up and testing these at some point this week. I can't wait for you to kick it up and it's all covered with those. This is, the, this is the third one we have found. So. Well, the, the point is all the big computers over there right now are on, the, are on, are on 10 or 11. Yeah. Because yeah. we upgraded all of them in 2020. That goes with that computer. Or, sorry, 2022, right? Yeah. Yeah, those Alesis are. Sorry, 2021. September 2021, you and I updated all of the big computers. Those might, those might have 10. There's no way they have 10. Uh, There's no way they have 10. Windows 10. There's no way they have They don't have 10 on them. Is there, is, look on the back of that, look on the back, is there an HDMI? Oh, it says Pro Windows. <laughs> so. Is there an HDMI connector? Really? HDMI or is it the Dell connector? HDMI. Go plug it into that monitor out there. Hang on. <laughs> Keyboard, mouse. I need a, I don't need, a, yeah, I need a power cable. Okay. Do you have, are they all right here? Right here. Can that be a streaming computer? We, uh, no. Is it pow no? Hey, he needs a keyboard and mouse. <laughs> he needs oh. a keyboard and mouse. <laughs> hey, we, we, we have about a hundred of these. Okay, so. We're going to bring, bring the camera out here. We're going to test this. Okay. okay. Let's, go test the Let's go test a computer. See what we got. And why would I not know what they are? Because... So... <laughs> So here's the room, guys. So this used to be Chef John Reed's bedroom. <laughs> he moved out of the house. So now this is going to be um, this is going to be the the cell or donate room, which is great because we have a lot of stuff here. As you can see, there are totes and totes of electronic equipment. Um, this is what's sorted. So there you go, boxes of just things and we have taken six totes and made four so that is all right so now we're gonna where'd you go oh okay am i losing my mind what? oh no no it takes that we need a power adapter it has a power adapter that, let me get it. Yes. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like am I losing my mind? No, like, no, absolutely not. All right, so oh, check. Fucking stupidest, yes. stupidest. Every, that's why there's a light. Every large computer you have has a plug like this. Every large computer has a plug like this. Right? Yeah. For power. So I'm looking at the back of this thing. And I'm saying, huh. I'm having a stroke. Where's the power? Right there. It runs on like a laptop power adapter. 
Oh, yeah, wow. It's, a, <laughs> it's like an 18 volt DC power adapter. Jeez. Yeah, it's like a laptop. I mean, look, it's a tiny little one. Okay, that's crazy. And what were, what were these used for? These were? We bought this for the group. They each, each, we bought five of them. Here, we just bought, put, put that on you. I need to get my phone. We bought five of those to replace the old ones that they saw at the storage unit today, Laura. <laughs> And they're optiplexes, I think. They are. They're still in there. Oh. But optiplex is, the, is at least the pro grade, you know. But they these were the they, these were called like the minis or something. These were the Inspiron. So oh, these are Inspirons. Hunt, hunt, hunt here. He lives in Nashville too. Mixers have gotten so cheap. Yeah. He said, "I have rated command for you. I'll give it to Shana." Oh, cool. Thanks, Creek. Hang on, you know, we the can LS turn it sideways. Lift it up here. No, Hunt says somebody. the Alesis mixers only go for no, like 75 bucks, oh. Tom. What? The Alesis mixers only go for like 75 bucks. 75, yep. Yeah. Yep. That's Mr. Lurkers, that is the computer with all the Bitcoin on it. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Lurkers. <laughs> Artisan dead. bread. Hi, Al. That blue the, one? Which is, one? The blue one the, is, is the one that has a Bitcoin wallet on it from when I was in uh, middle school. Oh, school. my God. It is totally dead. Yeah. Fried. He got wet. <laughs> What's that? What? There is, we do have a computer in the basement that had Bitcoin on it when I was in high school. Oh. Um, really? That, that big blue one that we built? Okay, what's the bet? What's yeah, the bet the on the... I, start, I plug because they, it was before Bitcoin was on ASIC miners. Um, what is it? What do you guys think that Windows is? And uh, it definitely, there's definitely a wallet that I don't have access to anymore. I don't remember Windows 7. I say Windows 7. 15 Bitcoin on it? I say Windows 7. What? Yeah. Colin. I'm going to say Windows 7. seven. So Memphis says Windows 95. <laughs> Lurker says 7. Loki says, I got 10 on Windows 8. Um, <laughs> there was a while when, window, when we did this and you had Windows 7 units. Yep. And you were backdating them to XP because Windows 7 was Brad so broken. says 7. Hunt says 8. No, this that circle right there tell is telling me that it's That's, uh, it's at least seven, right? At least seven. Clab says three dot one one. Windows Windows Vista confirmed. Oh Vista. my gosh! <laughs> it could be Vista. <laughs> that could be Vista. We did not plug in the network. It is. It like oh my gosh! Time. How are we going to remember this the password? Is, this is ten. It's ten, guys. Wow. What? Loki said NT. Oh my gosh. 19 is when you used it. Yep. That's 10. Honorary. It's 10, 10, guys. This is 10. Guys, it's 10. You can go click on. Can I just do the, the gear Hunt system? Says my laptop still has eight. You go here. <laughs> and then you go to. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> it just kicked a whole bunch of command prompts. Yes, yeah, trying to system. System. <laughs> it's like it was going to be oh, you could have typed for it. a week. Well, no, we didn't plug it in. About. Raft is like, wow. I've been using a Mac. Windows 10 hasn't been updated since wow. 2019. Windows 10 Pro. Windows 10 Pro, guys. And it was last time it was used was the 2019, the last big, big one that we did. Yeah. It's running on a 1.6 gigs processor. Yep. But it has 8 gigs of RAM. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These were used to, these were used with um, Adobe Audition. And we would uh, we would do radio station. Um, they would lay down tracks and interviews, and it worked fine. There you go. Tyler designed that, didn't he? No, not that one. Is that from Monroe? Yeah. No, Tyler designed that. Yeah. There you go. That's cool. Yep. Creep says, "What do you want for it?" <laughs> Clav, the shaking is back on the cam. That's because Laura's holding it. But this one here has. Yeah, this one here has um, Adobe Audition, and I don't have any speakers. We can't even play. That probably doesn't have an integrated speaker, does it? Or do these have integrated speakers? The screen does. The screen does? Yeah, so let's just that. see if we can even... I say, will, will, will Creative Cloud even kick on? I just want to wave. I want to play this. Hey, Freedom. Nice screen. Yeah, the screens are nice. These yeah. are, these are. 
The yeah, those, the, the, the <laughs> Dell screens are fairly new. Tom and I got those for... Oh, they're less than six months old, yeah. Tom and I got those for our gaming streams. <laughs> <laughs> now you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, and then we do everything on a... On a laptop. Oh, now look, this is crazy what this does. It, now it's now it stopped, but it just goes like this and it wavers. Hmm. It's, the, it's the weirdest thing. We don't even have to be moving. So I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. How would I get sound? Clab said you might have to format the hard drive before selling it. Tom, mm. for real. Never. Absolutely not. Oh, you just this, this thing has Windows Defender and it's on, so we don't need to format anything. <laughs> here, here. Sorry. That's... Oh, you were talking about that clip. Sorry. It's probably got all the music from Bonnaroo on it. This one does not. There's one of them that probably does. So there it's, so it's just playing it. Okay. One of these buttons does something. Yeah, I don't know what it is, Rath. Just, you guys, it randomly does it. And like right now, the phone, so I think this is a... Does it have audio? Do the screens have audio? Samsung Galaxy, oh, it I think it's a 20, S21. What? 21 or 22. Okay, maybe it doesn't. Anyway, I, I it, think it does. It hasn't always done it. It's just started in the past month or so. Yeah, I have no idea. No idea. But I feel like maybe my phone is haunted. I went rogue on my crock pot pork loin dinner and added pineapple. Oh, this is just a workstation. Yeah. This is one of the workstations. So good at or what? Look at the back. If you have HDMI, it will have sound, Freedom says. It does. It, it, we see it. We it, see it. It, it does. Okay. We, just, we just don't know why it's not. In sound settings in Windows. One of those things like, is it? Yep, let you see the device. If you right click on the tray, what little speaker goes. Yeah. It can be personal info on it, is why I recommend to format it. Oh, absolutely. I yeah. think, I, there, Colin. No, I won't stop. Yep. Let's go down here. No, it's just randomly happening, but it's happening often. If I stomp, does it do it? No. No. <laughs> no, it's, it, it goes like, it's not showing up, is it? No. Sorry, we need to clip that. Okay. And All right. Anyway, um, I'm going to plug in a, um, I'm going to update it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to run updates on it. And there's like, there's like six radio station drops on here. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. It was brand new. It was brand new. He took off the plastic. Colin. I was going to sell it as new. Here, I'll put it back I'm on kidding. I'm you. kidding. It was all—it was already half healed. Hang on, I'll put it back on for you. Watch this. I would guess the—I nice would—I would guess the resale value of this is probably about seventy-five bucks. It is a working. The RAM is worth computer. the RAM is worth the seventy-five bucks. Eight gig of RAM. That's compatible with an old hard drive. So come on, we can do this. But yeah. No, Colin quit. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried about it. I know. Memphis, it's a feature to the camera. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No extra charge for the really trippy ride, guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, there we go. Yes. All right. We did it. There we go. All right, Lala. Oh, with that big screen? No, the big screen's not for sale. Uh, the big screen is worth... Um, I was going to say, what would we pay for that big screen? They're like... 400 bucks? Just yeah. Like, <laughs> just like about four or five months ago. Yeah, it's... These are uh, these are gaming screens. There. Yeah, that's that's the yeah. screen. Yeah. Uh, computers. The the desktops are the desktops the are. Said seventy five sold. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Desktops are for sale. There you go. Perfect. Brand new. Like it never happened. Creep. Seriously, I'll just we'll just have a list, and you tell me what you what you want, and we'll um we'll just we'll just bring it to you. We'll just bring it to you. Yeah. Oh, no, there it is. It's going again. So this is happening a lot. Okay. And and I'm not touching the... Okay. It's on a tripod. That's probably yours, Colin. That white one? 
I don't know who's this. Nobody cares. All my techie people don't care that this is happening to my... I do care. I do care. I just ha I'll look at it tonight. I think the answer is you turn off your stream and turn it back on. Hard boot the phone. She's done that so many times. Oh, really? Yeah. So then... Yeah. It's something... I know, Creep. I don't know, and it's happening, like, more often. Hey, Laura. What? I have the mic. And I'm walking into the bedroom. Uh, oh, shoot. Who's doing marbles? Mom's getting points. Damn, I'm getting my... Been running by itself with some guy who doesn't even scream. He just lets you like get the draw. <laughs> it takes you four hours of watching. I'm not watching that for four hours. Just... <laughs> I just want the I just want the draw. I love it. Okay. <sighs> this is great. This takes you back to to Bonnaroo setup days. Wonderful. Okay. I did. I okay. am having fun. <laughs> that was fun. We yeah, going through stuff and just like yeah. let's just set up a computer. Okay, that was fun. Did you see it the whole time it was faced this way? I didn't see did it. Did it ever do that wavering thing? Yeah, you know, I didn't see it any times I was looking over at it while I was standing here, but. I didn't yeah, has it been wavering? Well, it's been in here, the backwards. Oh. So the stream detects you. Oh, I don't know, Shayna. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're all in the closet. But just, that's where you are right now. You're in the closet. We have there, you have a, you have a trapped SM57? No, I don't think it's, <laughs> I think it's one of those weird mics. Try to turn the auto focus off. Yeah. Okay. Let me know, um, because if it doesn't, if it's not happening from, because right now you're the front camera, so I can see the screen okay, and the camera that you're viewing me sure. on is just one on the front of the phone. Your knife. So if it's only happening when I have it turned around, which out there when I was just filming, it was like the back of the phone. You know what I mean? The camera's on the back of the phone. So if it doesn't happen on the front of the phone, then that tells me something. It was only in the computer living room. All right, well, that then that means it's the other camera. The other camera. So something might be wrong. Oh, it'll auto, auto collect both. Hi, Ty. What's going on? So we are downsizing. Tom went and got a bunch of totes from uh, a storage unit that we've got, and we are sorting things to be sold. Whirlwind direct box. And then we will be um, donating, selling. Tom had a great idea. I think we're going to put together like a streamer or podcast setup and um, do a giveaway. So... Yeah. Yeah, we'll do a microphone, a, a computer interface, and a set of headphones. What? Yeah, those are those Audix. MXL yep. BCD1. Yep. I have another one in here. Broadcast that's, dynamic microphone. Yep, that's, that's well, fancy. Yeah, that's Ooh. that'll be one of the Look microphones we give, we give away with the pod, We're gonna give away some podcasts. Let's get that guy. Cool, huh? Tom has a. Uh, Microphone collection. Who? You do. Okay. Yeah, I do. I have some nice microphones in my closet in there. Yeah. So I had I had a bunch of microphone manufacturers. Uh, they give me microphones to hang. Yep, a lot going on. They give me microphones to hang on the um, yeah for the was, DJs. That was one hundred fifty bucks. Right now on Sweetwater. Really? That microphone so one hundred fifty bucks huh. on Sweetwater. It teleports into Shayna's lap. <laughs> so it was probably five when it was given to you. Dad? It was probably five when it was given to you. Five hundred? Mm-hmm. Yep. I have, um... Unfortunately. I have one, two... <laughs> I have two of them. 
a bunch of different miscellaneous, and I have a bunch of these. Audix uh, OM5? Yeah. Brand new? Audix OM5s. Here. Okay. You got a bunch of those? I got one, yeah. A A-U-T-I-X? A-U-D-I-X. Stage microphones. Stage microphones? 170. 170? Mm -hmm. uh, what about Audio, Audio Technica X1? That's 170 bucks? Mm -hmm. wow. feels, feels good. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Tom didn't even know he has all this stuff, you know? It's not an SE Electronics X1, SE Electronics. No, there's a microphone. Here, let me show it off. Gotta, Go ahead and read that and see if you can read what it says on it. Audio, Audio Technica Brand X um, XM1. XM1. Cardioid. Cardioid mic. Yeah. Low Z dynamic. Got it. XM1 Cardioid Low Z dynamic. $15. I have six of those. $15. $15. These will probably be given away. XM1 vocal instrument microphone. Yep. I have six of those. So those will go with the podcast case. Yeah. Yeah, it's just an older out of you know what I mean that they, they don't they don't support it anymore, so <laughs> Hunt says the OM fives are about fifty dollars used. There you yeah. go. Yeah, these are brand new. So we'll try to get sixty. <laughs> now they'll go with pie they'll go with podcast kits that we're gonna give away. Tom's gonna have fun putting some kits together for you guys. Yeah, Colin's gonna. Colin's I, was, I, was, I was about to say the kit. The kit that he's not giving away is the um, is the is the is the uh, the Pro Tools board with the two SM7s. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're we're gonna do one broad. We'll do two. two we'll, kit. <laughs> we'll set that up with the. We'll set it up the broad. We'll set up one kit in here, Laura. Yeah. Just so we can do it one last time. But I will keep a. I will keep a broadcast kit. I want to be able to do uh, four. Four inter. Four people, so I'll keep enough to do a four or five SM7, some SM58s, yeah. just enough to do a performance and yeah. a live stream with it. Do you have any bullet mics? I do. Yeah, Clab said for some of it's going to be up on the Discord. Yep. It'll all be on yeah. Discord. It'll all be on Discord. Yeah, we'll put we'll put a channel up there that's just like here's the stuff we have. So audio garage sale. Yeah. yeah. Literally. <laughs> I yeah. love it. Um. <clears throat> And then Hunt said those kits will be very cool. Good idea. Yeah, I, that, that was his, like, that was a, that was a great idea. I I didn't know. I don't. We haven't done like a giveaway. We really didn't have enough people to do a giveaway, but we will. This will be it. fun. Yeah, I'm mad. I've never gotten rid of it. Oh, dad mode. <laughs> so this is a US. It's an, oh, ember. It, it's an ember mug. <laughs> yeah, ember mug. This is a Bluetooth. I can control the the temperature of my coffee cup. Colin gave that to me. Yeah. So. It was, I think it was one of the first one of the first mugs that Ember made. Now they now they build all their stuff into the mug itself. Yeah. And you can control it. Yeah, that was cool. That's though. cool. Um, but that was one of the first ones they ever made. And I bought it from thinkgeek.com, which oh, got bought, yeah. oh bought, bought by GameStop, I think. We bought so much from Think Geek. Every present I bought for Christmas people from Think Geek. God, there were a bunch of Christmases where that's all. Everybody just went shopping on Think Geek and we exchanged gifts from there. Uh, we'll be doing some book giveaways the way it looks. Books. You can negotiate anything. Colin, do you want one of these? No. Strength Finder Emotional Intelligence 2.0, which I should read for the third time. The Strength Finder is a good one. And... Just stick them, stick them in the bookshelf area. There's a lot of other leadership. Types of books and and book giveaways. That's not a bad idea either. Yep. We've got a huge library of different types of books that we could do a book giveaway. I'd oh. rather rather give stuff to oh you guys. Gosh. Oh my gosh, guys! This What's is that? from two thousand nine or ten. At Lavender Yep. Yeah. Is it you and Mom? What is it? 
the photo of me and mom from the photo booth alive on the green. Like, one of the first ones. Oh my gosh. Look how young we are. Aww. Oh. Oh. I look like Paige. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, that's not me, that's Paige. That was one of my... Like, that's, like, like that's, that's Paige and Travis. I think that might be... I think that... Guys, I think that might be 2009 because it was sponsored by MGD64 the first two years. Nice. <laughs> okay, I'm going to load up my last two things and I'm going to go okay. for the night. All right. Hey, I love you. Do you need help carrying it out? Nope, it's it was just a shelf that's in here. So real quick, let me show you. Maybe you How are y'all doing? It's a lot. You know, it's funny because so much of this stuff, isn't it just the way it is when you're cleaning out closets and you know what I mean? Looking back through where you stash stuff, you stash stuff because it has meaning, right? And so going through it, you reminisce and you're hearing all kinds of stories from different, you know, experiences happening here. Um, lots of, lots of cool things, lots of water under the bridge, you know? Uh, good memories. So, yeah, look forward to paying some of this stuff forward, you know? Because Tom and Colin and my kids and even myself, you know, over the years and the different festivals and things where we use this equipment to do stuff, I mean... We had some fun with it, man. We had some fun with it. And did some cool things. Lots of artists use these mics doing interviews. So, God, I don't even know if we could put together a list of the 18 years worth of interviews that different artists use this stuff. So... Multiple types of music festivals, Live on the Green, Bonnaroo, Lollapalooza, <laughs> Tied. I bet Tom is downsizing to stock up on Legos. <laughs> Actually, he has, wait till we get to the actual other thing. So this is just one, this is just one type of sorting. We've got like between Legos and puzzles and games. I've got a whole game closet full of crap. So, yeah. We'll be, we'll be, you'll, you'll, you'll be with us when we go through that stuff. And we'll bring that in here is that our kids are either, and then I think what we'll do is our kids will be able to come through. This room is going to be our marketplace, basically. So, um, and then we got that door so people can like come in. If we sell something, they can come in and pick it up. We don't have to have them traipsing through the house. Um, we may do an open house where people can just come and buy and, you know, may donate stuff, whatever. But this is a place where we will put this room, we'll put the stuff that we're getting rid of. Um, so games and toys and whatever, um, everything is going to go in here if it will fit. Now I'm kind of wondering if we even have enough room in here to do it. We may have to expand into the hallway, um, but we'll let our kids come through here. I don't think they want much stuff anymore. I just don't think they do. They've all kind of moved on, so. But yeah, we have tons of Legos. We used to. We've already given a bunch of those to our kids. So, yeah, Ty, we, Yeah. The Lego, Lego addiction is um, partly mine. <laughs> when my kids were little, it was me. I was like, don't you want this Lego set? This one's cool. <laughs> I'll buy it for you. Are you going to be traveling on your boat? Or are you staying on a local Tennessee lake? Um, we do hope to travel on the boat. Right now we've got one of the engines is having an issue. So... Um,
We were going to go and uh, work on that today. Tom has to take the oil cooler off the engine and test it. We're hoping that is the problem because if it's the oil cooler that's causing the issue with the engine, um, that's fixable and affordable. If it's not, then we may be on the market for a new boat. But Where's your microphone? Huh? On the table. On the table. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. It's like, you're wearing your mic. <laughs> I love you. I love you, too. All right. <laughs> You guys have a good, yep, have a good week. You too. I'll see you guys this week. Okay, cool. So, but yes, we are going to be traveling on a boat. I hope it's this one. Um, because we're definitely, we have designs on doing America's Great Loop. Ideally, we'll have a boat that will make it all the way around the loop. Um, if not, definitely going to the Bahamas and spending some time there, so... But yeah, we do. Um, and right now, our boat is on the river. So we used to be up at Old Hickory Lake. I know you're kind of from here, Hunt. So we used to be up on Old Hickory Lake. We were at Cedar Creek for a while. And now we've got our boat on the river. Yep, ideally, this if our boat will cooperate. It's older, it's a 1982. And uh, Tom's, at, but he told this story earlier, but he's, he's, um, he's been in touch with Volvo Penta, trying to get us uh, like two new engines and asking them if they will repower the boat. Basically donate the engines and then we would have to pay for those engines to be installed. But if we could get Volvo to basically sponsor our loop trip repower our boat in exchange for all kinds of advertising and whatever we would be able to do um then yeah maybe this boat is the one that will do the loop so so we'll see oh yeah kettle chips damn screw them well this is plant-based potatoes we're gonna look yeah. Oh, these are so good. All right. Hunt says my grandfather has a house on Old Hickory, and I grew up with our boat on Center Hill. Mm. We've been to Center Hill with some friends before, Hunt. It was really, I love that lake. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye, Colin. Hey, Clab said bye. My brother now has a house up on Center Hill, too. Yeah. So you're like a boat water person, huh? Or you have family that is? Yeah. So I know next weekend we'll be out at the boat. So we'll probably take off the engine cooler next weekend, huh? You think? Mm -hmm. The oil cooler? Yeah. And then Tom is going to do, this might make sense to any of you motorheads, but then he's going to do a pressure test. He's going to pressurize it, put it in a bucket of water, and see if it bubbles. And if it doesn't, then we're actually probably up Shit's Creek because the problem is bigger. If it does bubble, that means... There's a leak in the engine, the uh, oil cooler, which is an easier fix. Mm -hmm. So that drama will happen next weekend. Tom had, he was like, my back. He goes, I can't get down into the engine room on this one, on this weekend. So we'll wait till next weekend to do it. Oh my God. But some are some are have a some have a quarter inch on them, so you can't. They're set. They're different. They're a different. What? Brand. What's that? I don't know what that is. That's a quarter inch. In the label yeah, bag? I just put them in the pile. I hmm. don't know what. You just tell me what they are, and I can put them in a pile or put them in the right bag. Just we got threes and we got threes and sixes. 
XLR, XLR to quarter, three foot. You don't have a bag for these yet. I don't. I nope. need a bag for those, right? Yep, yeah. yeah, for both. And what's that one called? XLR to one quarter. XLR. Dash quarter, one quarter, three foot. Why do you have a lot of these? Mm -hmm. Do you have a lot of these? Mm -hmm. This is just an XLR to XLR, three foot. You have a bag for those already. Oh, uh, I do. Mm -hmm. Is that is that this one? It's just a regular yep. three foot. Yep. Hunt said, I spent a lot of time on summers as a kid at Rock Island below the dam. Really? Oh, yeah. Really? We've got friends who, who spent a lot of time down there as well. Actually, so, have a house so there. we know you? Oh, yeah. Really? Wouldn't that be weird? Clav said, I did a task for Tom to look for metal shavings in the oil. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Is this, what is this? Three foot. Goes in that three foot bag. All right. Just yeah. the right, this no, no, straight no, 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 three no, foot. No, no, no. Goes in here. This one. XLR to a quarter three yeah, foot. Three foot, yeah. And then we have XLR to a quarter, one foot. So you need another bag? bag. Yeah. XLR to a quarter, Here. one foot. And did you create an XLR to a quarter six foot? XLR to a quarter six foot? We have a quarter to a quarter balanced or BAL. I've got. That's the miscellaneous. I don't think you've created the XLR. No, I have a three foot. Yeah. Just a three foot straight. What is this? Like. Those are just regular XLRs. Those are just XLRs. That's XLR to XLR. That's just a regular regular XLR, yeah. I'll just put XLR three yeah. foot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, then I have RCA quarter, and I have, what is this, XLR eight foot? Yeah. Just eight foot. Hold on. That's what I've got so far. So you need to tell me if I need another bag. Mm -hmm. What's that one? XLR to one quarter, six foot. XLR to one quarter, six foot? Yep. Here you go. We had a six foot bag. Yeah, but it's, uh, those are XLRs. Oh. <clears throat> Where's my phone? So yeah, premium content sorting cables. <laughs> uh, this is a good. No, this is a good bucket here, guys. Good bucket. A quarter inch equals big earphone jack. <laughs> Hunt says. Headphone. Yes. Blah being smoked and salted meats. Mm. Oh my god, I got a... Oh, tied. Oh my god, I almost got a double eagle in this golf game I played. Sweet. Was it hot out there today, I bet? My stepdad put one of our... RL Camino for mom's big cans. What? Put one in our... Oh, Camino for mom's big cans. 
Mm-hmm. I kind of hated it because I couldn't hear the music, but she didn't use it often. That's hilarious. Tom and Lala, super sort team, coming to you soon. <laughs> All right. War Beast, Space Whale. Uh, yeah. HDMI. Creep. AKG headphone amps, brand new. I have eight of them. <laughs> Here, let me take one. Let me just show them one. Headphones and headphone amps in, in her own thing. Oh. Bruh, can you do me a favor and pull this empty one out? Uh -oh. okay. So that one we're going to use for headphone and headphones and headphone amps. I have brand new. I have brand new Audio Technica headphones. Not very high dollar ones, but they're still nice. They're Audio Technica headphones. Okay. I'll hand these to you. Not sure I can use it, but those are nice, Creep said. Hunts, same. There you go. Oh man, Shayna. I'm sorry. You're such a good doggy caregiver. She is. I have the Mackies, but I could use a backup set. Okay. Headphone amp. I'm looking for the power. Ah, oh, there it is. Can you tell me how many watts that is? Um, 65. Okay. So those will not work with our laptops. Uh, will it work with my the one my other one? Yeah. Yeah, that's 65 watt. Okay. It might be that might be one that, for that other one. It could have been when I actually went to Bonnery with it and didn't. They used to have a backup. Power HDMI. Okay, here you go. Computer. Computer, computer. Well, there's a computer and there's, oh no, sorry. The one with the keyboards. Key keyboards and computer are the same, right? Yeah, yeah. keyboards, yeah. This, Keyboard's mouse and this this is a uh, uh, VGA cable. Okay. I was looking for these the other day and I couldn't find any. <laughs> well, now you've got a few. <clears throat> that one's. That's charging. another one of those charging cable. Like a. The what? Like speaker. Yeah. JBL speakers and stuff use those? Oh man. Nice. This is for speakers. Oh, we can use those. I'm gonna, we need to put like that in the hallway. That's not, we don't need to sell those. We need No, those. they're right there. They go in there. Oh, got okay. you. Are these all power? Huh? Holy crap. Yep, here you go. We're never gonna be 
Yeah, we may need to get rid of some of these. <laughs> we don't need this many. Just washed her waterproof blankets, but of course she wasn't on that. Oh, of course not. Get Tom some glasses. He has some. And he just got there at the place. Like, he can go get them. I don't know where his glasses are now. He just found another pair. How much longer are you going to be on? I have to cook, but I'll be back with you. Yeah, we'll probably be on. Yeah, we'll be on for a while. Yeah. All right, this just so goes. This goes down in that headphone. I'll find the headphone thing out for you. You want me to put this amp in here? Is that? No, 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 no. That's oh. a different one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Network cable. All right, creep. Have fun. Cook yourself something good. MPW. Um. Goes, put this in that. Um, I know what this goes to. But put this in that headphone amp box, please. What does it go to? I think it goes to that headphone amp that's in there. Oh. Okay, so this is. Okay. This is actually a really fun box. getting there. We only have four boxes left. You're doing great. Keep going. Keep going, honey. Proud of you, love. Yeah, what's really sad is where he is. Another box of microphones somewhere. Is this for microphone? No, that's that's your adapter cables. Oh. This random bag? Yeah, it's not random, it's a Y cable. Oh, okay. Do you want me to label it Y cable? Nope. Okay. Okay, so this is right here. This is a mmm, Ty, that sounds so good. I just did carne asada steak in the crock pot all day. It was great with black beans and rice. That sounds amazing. Put these down in the down in the audio, the one with the um, Heads, head headphones. Ones. Yeah. Okay. This is a miscellaneous tool. Yeah, you got wood sander. That's a soldering. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's high end. Okay. High end stuff there. The fixed cables? Mm What are you doing? Thanks for hanging out. I feel like we have like a ton of moral support here, so. <laughs> All right. Next box. Do you want me to put these in the hallway? Just put this up. No, 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 no. I like it up. What? Let's just do this. Well, it's broken, honey. A wall clock? Works with Alexa. Yep. 
That's a cell. Okay. Uh. Like. Yeah. So we have another tote that is just like not computer stuff, but things that we're Ugh. just gonna meet, get rid of. Maybe I'll just stick it. Yeah, I'll stick it on the shelf up here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And after we finish these next these last two, we're gonna go and make some dinner. Okay. This is HDMI. Uh, no, that's uh it goes in the computer. Oh, keyboard. computer keyboard box. Keyboard. Got it. Okay. That that monitor's power. Wow. That goes back to that goes back to Lester. Oh. That was brought home by I mean. Okay. Alright. So this is a back to Lester box? Back to the station box. Okay. Okay. Here we go. This is a power extension right? cords. No, those oh, are extension, extension cords. Yeah. Fine for um, Halloween, but they're not good for audio because you gotta have around the plugs for audio. If you guys didn't know that, you should have around the plugs for your audio so you don't have ground loops. Mm. Good to know. All your audio should be grounded. Okay. So two prong for lights. Well, here's the deal: if you go to ground and you get and you stand in a uh, puddle of water, you're gonna die. Where if you have mm. three prongs with the ground, it's gonna trip the breaker. If it's if it's grounded properly. Ooh. What's nice. that? Nice. Right, you guys are gonna like this one. This one gets taken out. This goes go back. Here we go. Oh yeah. All right. We have actual equipment here. Audio. This is a Two channel audio box USB interface for computer. Okay, where does it, what box does it come in? The second one from the end. This one? Yep. Here? With the red things, right? There's some red things yeah, in there? Yeah, there's yep. red things. SM7s, 
Oh, pretty. Two of them. Pretty mics. Three of them. I said there was more microphones somewhere. A bunch of them. I should have I should have six of those. I should have wow. six or seven of those. You could totally <laughs> Thanks Darren. <laughs> Darren's like, you could totally get a job on the QVC shopping channel. A total pro brandishing all those products. <laughs> you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> Just call me Vanna. These things are addictive. Obnoxious. Oh, these are mine. These are my, oh, yeah. these are my personals. KRK is going to headphone amp box. These can go. Headphone. Amp headphone. Box. Yeah. You want me to put them in a, in the bags? Huh? Hmm? Sure, I can put we, we can put them in a bag. I oh, forget. these are sure. Hold on. That's fine. It doesn't matter. I'll take one of those. Sony. Well, these are for mics or for No, these are these are headphone bags. Oh, just yeah. Why does it say sure on it then? Huh? You have sure headphones somewhere? Yep, right here. Right in there. Oh. Well, you don't need to put these ultrasounds in. Yeah, there. that's fine. Okay. Just trying to keep everything nice. Yep, I know. You don't need to get messy and sloppy toward the end here. You're doing a great job. Hang in there. All right, so trash. All right, so this is the microphone. So one. Two, three, four, five. So, what about these? Are just five. Yeah, I'm, good. I'm gonna hand, we're gonna throw this. In. We're gonna throw all this stuff in the. Some of this random stuff. In the headphone. It's fine. Let's go in the headphone. Headphone. Put those in here. There we go. Then they're not loose. And that's one too. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten SM58s. Are these all micro? This is all microphone yeah, stuff? Yep. Yeah. This too? No? Tape? Yeah, then I'm gonna put that with something else. Let's see what's up this house. That's a yeah, that's a windscreen. Four SM7s, but I think I have six of my own. And I got some miscellaneous. Again, we have the Radio Shack. Um, <laughs> oh no, no, no. This one on off switch is a sure. This is a vintage sure. BG 3.1 with an on off switch. Heck yeah. <laughs> Darren says 10 SM58S and one mouth. <laughs> What's that? Triangle adapter for HDMI? Yep. Right. So where did those other ones go? What did I do with those? 
did I do with those weird ones? What did we do with those? We had some... What? We had some other microphones. Are you, there's some sure stuff in there, right there. Yeah, this is a... Here, hand me those those adapters and feet. These? Okay. All this stuff's over here. So there should be three of those now, right? Yep. All right, kids. Oh, look at would you look at this? <laughs> you found another computer. Yeah, this one is different. This is a true opti. This is an optiplex. This is nice. That's a good one. This is a newer optiplex 3050. Optiplex 3050. This is newer. So we can put it right over there by that one. That one does not re require special power supply. Those SMs will be worth a good lump of cash. Yes, they will. Doran said. Yep. Late but good dinner. Rice and beans and chicken sausages. Nice, nice. Clab. Sounds amazing. Yeah, that is kind of a late dinner. Yeah, very late for you. Optiplex 3050, around $200. Oh. Nice, we'll keep that. That'll get donated. That'll be. Because I didn't pay two hundred for it, so it's you sure it's not worth like seven or eight hundred dollars? You sure? <laughs> it's only five years old. Maybe three hundred if it's an i seven. Uh, we'll boot it and see. If it's an i seven, we'll yeah. See. All right, so we have been through. Okay, do you guys want to see something sweet? You guys want to see something sweet? Oh, look at this. Look at this. These are my high dollar cables here. Oh. Okay. Alright, I'm going to show you guys. Any broadcasters on? Because we're going to show you what I think probably has the best resale value. I don't know if they can see or not. Oh, you want me to bring it over? I don't know if we need, we need to bring it over, but... You want me to bring that over to them? No, because I'm going to plug it in so they can see. Here. You guys, I'll start here. So these are the... This is the current flavor of mixing board that I use. Um, QSC Touch Mix... Whoa! <laughs> QSC Touch Mix 8. You can see all of the current model boxes we got going on here. Current model. Here, let me put this here. Sorry, guys. This it's is, starting to get cramped in here. This is what I use. This is what I use for um, Awesome. Thanks, Darren. Darren, I have five of these. Yep. I will pass that on. 
Yeah, that's perfect. What, Paul? Do you want to? Okay, so here. Here, guys. QSC Touch Mix 8, pristine, brand new. Probably used five times. Hey, channel. There you go. You have eight of these? Five? Five. <laughs> Why? We'll keep one. This will be what goes on the bus with us. Oh. They're fully programmable. Um, eight input. Four mic pre's. The four mic pre's can be line in. And then it has uh, four additional. Guys, I gotta put you back in the closet. Four additional ends. Um, fully configurable in the software for routing and um, and four auxes, which is amazing, and then main outs, main left, right. But great for. Darren said that's a spicy kit. Yeah, that one there. So I was thinking, and I don't know what you guys think. I was thinking about pairing this with a this with an interface. With one of my one of my Focusrite digital audio interfaces, a QSC board, two SM7s, two two mic stands like boom arms. I think I have I think I have 12, 12 mic boom arms, um, and then sell them as a, a streaming kit. It's professional grade. Um, I could pre wire. I could take pictures, pre wire it, show them how to set it up, set up the boards for. Um, Show them where to plug in our computer, and you could do pro pro grade voiceover. These are everything that I have is ready to go for going to do voiceovers and stuff. Or I could keep them for another five years. No, no. Nah. But I could do five. I think I could do five full broadcast kits or five streaming kits. Darren said selling them as packages is a better idea. It will get rid of stuff faster, and if they haggle, you are essentially giving a mic or a few cables for free. Mm -hmm. so. And the fact that, you know, I mean, people, rather than having to think about what do I need to put a kit together, you've already put a kit together. And then they can learn. But if you, you know, tell them that everything they need is in this thing, they are more, I think people are more likely to buy it. They have to learn how to do the mix mind so They have to learn how to, how to take what they're sending to stream. A lot of things Blitz can use one. Really? Nice. <laughs> there you go. So that is... That is 80%. So Tom will put some of these on... We'll put some of this stuff on the Discord, and that way, you know, if people want them, need them... You know what I mean? We'll we'll be able to folks can just put out there or DM Tom and um we definitely can and we I'm I'm sorry, but we're definitely giving Fred rates. Yeah. So So there you go, Blob. You just you just make sure that Blitz DMs Tom with what he wants. Darn, if there's a barracks in streamer in your box of tricks there. A barracks in streamer? Mm -hmm. I don't even know what that is. In your box. I'd definitely be interested in that. Who wants that? Darren. I know where there's a box of them. Blob herd streaming kit. Yep. There you go. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. 
Yeah, the QS the QSCs do the QSCs do. This is definitely would be an upgrade kit for somebody who's already streaming, because these QSCs are are valuable. Um, but I can get breaks on the other things. I mean, I can get breaks on the QSC. Yeah. Well, and putting together, you know, whatever is needed. So you know. Um, yeah. Fun. See, it, it makes it easier, too, guys. It makes it easier to, like, you know, have the stuff go when you know it's going to good people. You know what I mean? Yeah. It really does. It definitely makes it more fun. So we can put some kits together. And everything will be tested when it especially goes Especially for you all. Everything will be tested. I'll probably do one SM7, one SM58, so if they have a gas. But the SM7 for the main. I, I love it when I can put together a kit that's pro-grade. Mm -hmm. And I can set up the, the vocal on it and the EQ and then send it out. Um, I don't think I can remote in, but I could probably walk people through it because I'll have one. And really making somebody sound good. It's amazing. Yeah, that's cool. Plenty. Okay. So do you want to put this back in the box? Yeah. So each one of them has one of these... You gotta come, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna power down. Can I get you to unplug that, please, for me? Oh, yeah. So over the next over the next week. I will set up, I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring a, I'm going to set up like a Bonnaroo studio so you guys can see everything set up with a computer and then we'll do a, we'll do a live stream. I, I, I don't mind walking through a live stream of how to set it up. That way then we have it on VOD. Oh, Blitz's blob says that Blitz's streaming PC has been out of commission for a while. Mm. I don't like that. We don't like that. So these these little street these little PCs here. There is important missions to be accomplished. Yeah, these I'm little sure. PCs that we have here are not the um, are not the most robust, but you know the price is right on those. So, right, but though, but for just the basics, like one task at a time kind of thing. Well, the, yeah, I mean they're, they're. You know, if you're streaming, you're really just running a few things. Yeah. True. Very cool. Alright. We have a lot of boxes in here still. Is it like, are some empty? Uh, no, they're just, yeah, there's a couple empty ones, but they're just, they're just crap in the bottom of them. I have to, I have to dig them out. Okay. So how about we put those in a closet? Do you want me to put them in the closet over what? here? Those. Got a regular spot for them. Oh, okay. Okay. Like this one's empty. I mean, the empty... You're looking at that and you're thinking we have a lot of boxes, but we really no. But I'm what I'm doing. I'm trying to like because we'll have other things we need to get in here. Yeah, I'm gonna go get more totes tomorrow night. So right. So the empty boxes, I would rather just like we can stack them and move them out of here, put them somewhere else, like oh. in Colin's room. That's empty what boxes. Have. That's what we have empty. Are those underneath there? There's that one you just had. I may put all, all my mics in there. Those can all go. There we go. So all these can go. Look at that, guys. Three empty boxes.
don't think I showed you guys these these mixing boards here. These are Soundcraft Spirit E12 analogs. Okay, here, let me go take it over there. Those are nice. Those are in great shape, not noisy. Oh. Those I have four of those. I have no idea what they're worth. Those are heavy. Woo! Maka, 10.4 miles today. Holy crap. <laughs> Good for you. Well, didn't you make the most of the day? That's amazing. All right, also put on your list that barracks in streamer for Darren. Okay. Oh. Okay. Barracks in streamer. We got one more box to do. Okay, that's fine. Because these are cables that we like. Okay, so the first one is XLR. Six foot, yeah. There it is. XLR six foot. And no, guys, if you're if you're audio guys, I'm not doing an over under. I'm doing a wrap it and stick it in the bag. <laughs> uh, XLR XLR to corner six foot. There it is, right there by your left yeah. foot. I, I got it. Laying flat. Okay. This is just a straight XLR on a six foot. cables. All the cables. One foot XLR to quarter. One foot. Okay. That's a weird one. That's a uh, guitar cable. Oh. Where does that go? Right here. 
<laughs> into the random pile of weird three things. Three foot XLR and a quarter. Three foot. Three foot XLR and a quarter. Got it. One foot XLR and a quarter. These are all three foot XLR. Uh, that's an XLR three foot. A straight XLR, yeah. XLR a quarter, three foot. Just a six foot to. Yeah. It's right here behind the chair behind you. Oh. You might be getting full on. Another one. I think that's the second bag of them. Six feet? Yeah, we're, about at, we're about at the end of them. Huh? We're about at the end of them. Take, there's, one that's, there's one that says yeah, eight foot. This one that is says, another bag of six feet. Yeah, there's one that says eight foot on them. Yeah. Can you grab that one that says eight foot? Uh, I think there's one that said oh, eight. Oh, yeah. Those are six foot. These are six foot? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. Here we go. Hold on. I'll just put six. Okay. Cool. Six. These are six. These are three. XLR threes. XLR six. XLR a quarter inch one. Nice job, honey. Yeah, I'm just wondering what else I can do right now. What are those in there? Huh? What are those in there? What are these? These. Those are uh, different cables, different types. Oh. Yeah. These are... These are all six foot. Well, these are... These are two a quarter. Huh? Right? Oh yeah, that's a quarter. Yeah. And those are quarter. Yeah, those are regular. Okay. These are regular. Yeah. Here's a regular. And this is six foot quarter? Yeah. No, six no, foot regular. Foot regular. Six foot XLR quarter. Three foot XLR. I can't believe we had some big cables. Six foot XLRs. You have tons. You have so many six foot. I mean, it's just. Well, when we were doing the thing about when we were doing five kits. So oh, there's. How many? How many of these do you need per kit? I think we needed like. Um, I think we needed like eight, but we ended up going with the shorter ones anyway. <laughs> so. Right. We're Hold on. Ready. I think I need. Did we get? Did we use up that whole box of? Gallons? Oh. Yeah, 
I got one more. Okay. I've got another box of these. And these. So these are, we have more six feet, right? Huh? Yeah. six feet. That's six, that's, there's a six. That's six. This is just a quarter to quarter and that's a six foot. We don't have a quarter to a quarter bag, do we? That's interesting. A quarter to a quarter, this one? Yeah. BAL? Uh, no. Yeah, you can put it in there. I don't know what BAL is. Yeah, that's what you say. Yeah, these are, these are, um, that's weird that we have one of those. I think we're going to find some more. Okay. You want me to make, I mean, make just a smaller bag of that? Hang on, I got, let me see what else I have in here. I'm trying to get the rest of these colored ones out. Six foot, six foot, three foot XL outer quarter. How's everybody doing in chat? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, doesn't get any better than this, guys. <laughs> really nice radial direct box. Really nice. Passive direct box. I don't even know what this is. to hook up a um, like a guitar directly to a to a line. Oh. What do you where do you want me to put this in the audio? Uh, that would go in the that would go in the audio box. The very the no no the very the left of the headphones. One. Yep. Oh, excuse me. Okay. That's where we're that's a good stopping point right there cuz now we're getting into the the big cables, and I got some other weird ones over here. Some like really long. Okay, do you want me to just put the really long ones loose in this box, or do you want me to just put all of these in here that are labeled and just... Yeah, let's just put all those in there. We're going to find more when I bring those other coats over. You're going to have some of these miscellaneous cables. Yeah. Um, I'm also going to freak you out with a bunch of short ones here. This toad here. This full. You can just throw those in there. We don't even need that. Huh? stuff away do you want are we still doing this I just found these oh I just found them in this box but that's pretty much it yeah these are nice these are nice gears here those look like the, the these kind over here huh those look like those kind they are they have two full totes of just nothing but um, pro cables And so then we'll have to go with those are a whole separate kind. That's a whole sort. separate kind. Those are those are lifetime guarantee. If there's anything wrong with them, I can just exchange them. 
<laughs> Doran's like, you need a waving tube man outside and a sign, Papa Tom's Cable and Audio Emporium. <laughs> <laughs> and I would say, I would say of the cable, I would say of the cables, we probably, probably three quarters of everything. You have a lot of cables. Yeah. It's probably three quarters. I'm missing, yeah. I mix, I'm missing. Why don't you put, so why don't you put the cable boxes just by themselves in a corner okay. on top of each other. Okay. And there, if that's where your, st your starting point is the next time you come in here. Yeah, because this stuff is. And like, just put boxes with like things in them at least together. And that way you can. I don't know what these are. This box under here with these. I started sorting those. Those are. Okay. Those are those long ones. 10 foot or 12 foot. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Here's 100 foot XLRs. <laughs> Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. This is why we should have never started this. Why? No, I'm messing with you. All right. I mean, you know what? The thing is, we got the stuff out of there. Look it's how... in here. Yeah. And, and look how things are, are like yeah. being culled down. Yep. You have a pile of boxes in there that are empty now in there. Yep. And the stuff is sorted nicely here, so... We're getting there. And we got to send, we got rid of, we got creep, creep, got one item so far. So we'll get that to him. I gotta take this out because I gotta mail it in the morning. And we will, we'll put the stuff on, um, we'll put, get this stuff on Discord so you guys can, you know, kind of look at what we have and, and see if you want anything. Yeah. Put together some kits if you want, you know, go, you can do this. Yeah. Yep. And honestly, this, this this miscellaneous shit here, this is what gets me. It's just this miscellaneous stuff. It, it really is trash. When I get to this level at the bottom of the boxes like this, that I don't, you know, these right here, some of these cables are very specialized, and you want to have them just to, just together, turn around cables, stuff like that. Yeah, and you know what? But it, I don't need ten of them. No. So. And it's just a matter of. You know, we can put together a spreadsheet where we can start logging this stuff that you've got it, and then when we sell it, you know what I mean? You can take it off the list. But you need to put this stuff out there in mass. I mean, there may be some people, Tom, around town who are going to come and, like you said, get this stuff just by the bin. Why are you opening another box now? Huh? Because we're sitting here and you're talking, so I figured I would continue. Hmm. Yeah, we can just, be done. We can be done. Or, it, I mean, it's up to you, but I'm, I'm just... This one's you also don't need to be random because we were working on a box, and now you're opening up a different box. Well, this is a this is a junk box. It's literally a junk box. Well, I don't think you're in the mood to do this. No. The junk one. I thought I could just throw yeah. this out. I don't know that you can, honey. If there are things that, you, that need to be untangled, yeah. you can bring me a box of tangled shit, and I can sit in front of the TV and untangle it. That's this box here. Okay, well then just put it away. And... Okay. We're good. I just don't want you to just go, oh, I'm over it, just throw it away, you know? Because the whole point of this is like... By the way, everybody who everybody who gets anything, 
gets a, gets ten free power cables. <laughs> ten free IEC cables with every with every giveaway. Oh, this one's special. Hey, let me show you this one. So that's what happens. Probably somebody else picked this up besides me. This is a 20-foot IEC cable. Okay, this is really, this is for like one of those um, QSC speakers. Oh, Because yeah. then it reaches all the way to where it needs to go. This one needs to go someplace other than in the power box. The power yeah. box. Just what about in the audio box? Probably. Since it's like for an audio yeah. speaker thing? Yeah. So this one here, we could fold it over. I wish I could find the other one. Would that be something? Find a pair of them? Yes, I get excited. Loki said, shit, I want free coax. I wanted free coax. <laughs> How's it going, Loki? We got a we have a bunch of cable. If you're into cable of any kind, I don't. We what what is there coax? Go. There you go. Is that cable? Is that cable cable? Yeah, yeah. Tom's probably got a spool of that somewhere in the garage. I, I do. He does. I do. Lucky for you. DM your address and I'll send it to your house. <laughs> Along with 10 free power cables. <laughs> How's it going, Loki? What's going on? What's good? Okay, trash. Trash? Yep. Trash. Is that literally telephone? Yep. Cable. That's how old this is. That's, this is from the ISDN lines. Oh. That's how old it is. Chilling today. Cleaned the boat this morning. That was my peep motivation. Nice. Darren says, order today and Tom will scream into each envelope personally before sealing it. <laughs> Yo, what? Scream. Scream? <laughs> Personally, into each envelope before sealing it. <laughs> All right. Okay. We're like almost done with this one. Is that a three foot? That's a that's a different type of. Um. Free IEC cable with every purchase or any any payment plan. If you want to go, if you want to go nine months payment, you get nine IEC cables. Okay, you get nine. Yeah, I can't. I'm I'm through there. I'm done. Yep. Yep. My back is. It's so fine. No more. Okay. We're gonna go make some. Um, our dinner's gonna be very. What was that? Hello? Did you all hear that? Right there, you go. There's no one else here. One sub equals one cable. Act <laughs> now. <laughs> yes, a free cable with every sub. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was weird. Yes. 
sure is. It's not as long as the other no, one, but it's, it's still not. it's still long. It's still speaker long. You want me to put that in yeah. which one? In, in the a, regular one? No, 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 in the, in the long one. In the audio one. Audio box? Yeah. Or where you put the where you put that other long one? I didn't. You I didn't put it there. You you took it somewhere. No, this was the this wasn't the long this was the That's not the twenty four one? No. Oh, maybe it yeah, is. Yeah, it is. Put it in that end one. This Both one? Both of those, yeah. Thanks. So yeah, I have, um, if anybody wants, <laughs> holy camoly, used to be a hundred foot XLR cable that got chomped, but we used to have to run, um, XLR cables from the studio, the main studio to the recording studio. Remember that? Yeah. Trash. come back to this this is just at the ends of the so we have like we have like three of those totes now that are just at this level Laura yeah. that just need they just have miscellaneous stuff okay okay I'm gonna put this here I was gonna say well or just put put it where all the this this should be things that are sorted the unsorted things should be over there over here. Okay. All right, there you go. All right, that's a good place to stop. go look at that Tom it's coming together yep. all right guys and everybody gets a free hand eye tapestry from India when they make it <laughs> for mood lighting for mood lighting we should actually put them around here You know, you're going to probably rip a finger off. It's That's a moving fan. Watch your... Tom, it's a moving fan. I know, I know. I'm not going to go that high. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. It's dangerous. Could we just put it on the fan? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think it's nope. <laughs> oh, 
I'm sorry I said anything. I shouldn't have said that. What do you think of that chat? No. Oh, mood lighting. <gasps> no. <laughs> it looks like beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> okay. All right, that was fun. Shayna's like, Loki loves it. Shayna's like, is that safe? <laughs> no, no, probably not. Okay, right. let's let's take you guys to the next to the next thing. We'll figure out what we're what we're doing here. Progress. Huh? Yeah, lots of progress. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. Here, these need to go back in the kitchen. Need freezer bags for our lunch. What's that? What are you going to do with that? I'm going to test it and then I'm going to give it to Colin. Oh. Because Colin needs it. Oh, I got streaming bag there. All right, guys. Are you guys having... Is this just like a rainy day for you? <laughs> this this is like probably the lamest day of streaming ever. <laughs> no, have but, you seen some of the streams? But now we are... So are we doing a cooking stream now? It's going to be a very simple cooking stream, yes. <laughs> Is it doing food prep stream? No, I don't have any food to prep. Uh, I just need to eat. We might need to play some marbles, guys. Why don't you play marbles while I make some dinner? I might be up for that. I almost feel like I need to go get some clothes on. Go get some jammies on? Yeah, we could. I could put my jammies on and we could play marbles well, here, on stream on or words on stream. Here, I'll we could play games. Does your house have a basement? No. That's our dumping ground in the Loki house. Um, no. That would be no, we don't have a basement, but it's like the, it's the garage, which is kind of the equivalent of the basement because it's down the stairs under the house. So we live on a hill. So yeah, it's sort of like that. Tom has been tackling the basement little by little as well. So Shana said, seeing Tom's work in downtown was fun. I will show it to you guys in full. Um, you guys like that? That was a really ugly shot right there, sorry. All right, Laura's gonna go change. We're gonna, we're gonna make some food. Okay, here you go. Good job, honey. Nope. Nope. Hey, you've got you've got chat on your on your <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey. Okay. Okie dokie. Here we go. Everything is a mess. Everything is a mess. So... That was a pretty good, 
that was a pretty good first day at really going through that stuff. Um, I think it was definitely um, productive. Definitely, we need, it needs to be done. Sorry, I'll try not to hurt your ears too bad. I'm gonna make some sweet corn. Okay. Okay. What do we got here? Um, I'm going to make, um, we're doing just uh, sweet corn, tomatoes, and potatoes, I think. Just very simple. We've been eating like um, maybe some rice. I'm not sure. I want, I want sweet corn. I love sweet corn. But it's going to be very simple, very, very plain. But fresh tomatoes and sweet corn, I could, I'd be fine with that. But I may, I don't know. If we make rice, I may make some beans and onion. But I'm going to peel this corn real quick. And then we bought um, that cantaloupe. This is good looking corn. This is the half yellow and half half white, and it's called um it's a special name for it. It's super sweet. When it's half yellow and half white. Ooh, and it smells so good. It smells so good. Where did I break out that end? So it looks like there might be a worm in the end of it. That is good looking corn. 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 Uh, Are you eating huh? Are you eating I, I, no, I have both my hands in the water. Oh. Said you needed a rod to work. oh, yeah, we will. Not today, though. Yeah, just very, I mean, I don't think we're making rice. I think we're doing corn, potatoes, and tomatoes. Yeah, that sounds good. I think it's just very, very fresh. Maybe it's, maybe a kale salad yeah. with the tomatoes, but I, I, am, I am looking forward to these tomatoes. So. And the corn. Oh, the corn is so corn good. Corn and tomatoes is a great combo. Yeah, it is. So. So 
So there we go. We knocked out that corn really quick. That's what they usually say. We knocked out that corn. We made some corn content. Papa and Lala are making corn. Sweet corn. Uh. All right. All right, Lala. Yeah. I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make this. Uh, this corn and these potatoes real quick. Yeah. You just want your. You just want a baked potato. Yeah, I'm fine with whatever. Whatever, however you're cooking it. I'm literally. I'm literally going to take one of these potatoes. Those beautiful. I'm gonna take one of those potatoes. Probably one's big enough for both of us. Yeah. I'm gonna stick it in a nuker. Okay. And we're going to cook it until it's done. It's lovely. This is a beautiful potato. Yeah, what kind of those? It's a uh, Yukon Gold. They look like they're pretty, pretty, pretty fresh. Yeah. Potato. Six. So we have a choice. We are going to because we don't know what we're doing, actually. All right. Are we carrying on? My wayward son. All right. So the question was, do you want me to cook this this up tonight or tomorrow? Because I was peeling, I was peeling the corn. Hi. Hi. No wonder why they get bored with no. me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the question was, do you want to? I can cook this stuff tomorrow. No, it's fine. I mean, I don't. It's it's Tom. It's up to you. I. I... I'm gonna cook this tomorrow, right? Okay. And as far as the tomatoes go, we're going to eat the, tonight we're going to eat the Amish. We're going to have the Amish ones. Okay. And tomorrow night we'll do zucchini, beans, and rice. We'll cook for the week. Okay. But tonight we are we're done with that. We'll leave these out and we'll peel those in the morning. Make it one thing. Make it one You like cantaloupe, right? I love cantaloupe. I think we've got some in the fridge too. We yeah, probably need to toss it. We have to eat these other tomatoes in here. We have a bunch of tomatoes. In the well, fridge. you were going to make a tomato sauce, remember, for pasta? I remember. Yeah. I That's why you bought all the tomatoes, but. So we have tomatoes for tomato sauce tomorrow. Yukon Golds are very creamy, Shana yeah, said. They are. Yukon Golds were the first bred into existence at the University of what, Gelf Agricultural Campus in my old town, Point of Pride. I'll be darn, Mix. That's cool. I don't know that I've ever... Yeah, these were just at... The, I don't know that we've ever cooked a Yukon Gold. They were very interesting looking potatoes. I've, I've used them for fried potatoes. I've Have never, you? yeah. Well, we're gonna have one tonight. We're gonna cut it in half. We're gonna have one tonight and one tomorrow. Yeah. You usually mash them? Yeah, they're good mashed. We're gonna try to eat baked. 
Okay. I'm going to cut up one of these so we have it. Okay. Big one or a small one? Which one do you want me to cut up? The big one. Or, I don't know. Whichever okay. one you think is ready. This one's pretty. This one's got more green in it, Tom. Or maybe not. You choose. I'll do that one. I suck at fried potatoes, but have had hammer lessons, so oh. need to try again. So. Oh. oh, wow. Wow. Oh, my goodness. That looks. Holy cow. That looks beautiful. That's that. And it just it slices like butter. Yeah, I was not expecting that. Yeah, that was. Definitely nice. They're a good baking potato and frying potato. They mash well too. The skins don't hold up as well as russet, so they're not awesome for twice baked or potato skins. Yeah. And I just eat like baked potato with the skin and whatever. Yeah. The skins are usually good. Oh, do you sprinkle salt in your cantaloupe? I don't, but my mother used to. And actually, I have had salt on it, and it's, it's surprisingly good. But I don't, we're trying to, like, keep our salt down, so I don't put salt on much anymore, but I have had it with salt on it. Loki, it's good. Yeah. Those veggies. We had um, bananas in here, and they started to get little flies. Well, these flies came from the... Little fuckers. These flies came from the fruit that Hate I brought them. in. So... Oh. Wow. Be careful with those fingers. That's a lot, too. Alright, can you get me out a big uh, container, please? Like a... Do you just want to do it in um, a Ziploc bag? Big Ziploc bag? Or no? You want a bowl? I like the containers. I like a bowl. Like this? Yeah, that's perfect. The little crunchy sugar crystals are amazing and the vinegar penetrates better. That's how I came to it. Turbinado sugar and malt vinegar. Um, um, on. Really? That sounds. Who did that? Who said that? Mix. That sounds really good. What kind of vinegar? Malt um, vinegar? Malt vinegar. And turbinate, what kind of sugar? Turbinado sugar. She said the little crunchy sugar crystals are amazing. Okay. And the vinegar penetrates better. Okay, I gotta try that. Oh, you don't like cantaloupe tide. It tastes funky to you. I don't know. You know, and well, and some can. You know what I mean? Like if it's at different stages of ripeness, but sometimes it's like. Taste that. Is it really good? Oh my god. No, this one is perfectly ripe. It tastes like candy. That's really good. You know what? I'm sorry, but that's the difference in getting a melon at a stand like that. Yeah. And at the grocery where you don't know it's probably been picked early, it's been ripening in a truck from God knows where versus the when we stopped and got at the um, the little fruit stand fruit vegetable stand um, that's from local Amish farms so My friend who can't eat cilantro can't eat cantaloupe because it tastes funny to them. Oh, maybe that's a thing. There's that, there's that um, genetic thing where when cilantro tastes like soap, 
to some people who have like a specific gene, it, the cilantro would taste like soap. Like a raw sugar is really good. The only melon Tide can eat is watermelon. Absolutely, Loki. It's just, the stuff is so much better. It's the difference between home eggs and store eggs, yeah. Yep. This is, looks so good. Do you put um, cantaloupe in your smoothies at all? No, I don't think I'm going to because this stuff is really ripe. Yeah. It's eaten. Mm. It's really good when it's cold. Yeah, but that's like dessert. It's so sweet, it tastes like a dessert. I can't eat store eggs or drink store milk. Been spoiled for getting it from the farm shop for too long. Yeah. yeah. Now that's interesting with milk. What's the difference between the store milk and it tastes totally different? Really? It's so rich. If you don't, if you've never had just straight from the cow milk, unpasteurized, you can't drink it. Oh, it's pasteurized versus unpasteurized. Yep. Huh. We grew up. We grew up drinking milk right off the right off the right off the cow. So. I used to walk down and get it from my grandparents. Yeah. We'd be able to melt my mom and call. We'd walk down and get it. Yeah, Darren said the milk from the farm is creamy, not past, it's not past processed. Yeah. yeah. If it's really right, freeze it in chunks on wax paper and you can blend that for your smoothies. Oh. Oh, we should do that. I should do some like of that. Freeze, that's, that's freeze pretty, some of that. That's yeah. That's pretty right. What I'm going to do right now is... Darren said you need to shake it before using it or the cream rises to the top. Oh, yep. hence that that saying, the cream rises to the top. It does, and we used to make butter, homemade butter. Yeah, so interesting. Yeah, that's amazing. So, and then we got these tomatoes. It's right here now. These were the, these were from the Amish farm. Mm -hmm. So, and I don't think the Amish use any, like, um, pesticides or anything like that. You know what I mean? Everything is all just fresh and organically grown. Okay. It's also the homogenizing, however you spell it, where it breaks up the fat so it doesn't separate. Sometimes it's pasteurized. You can do that in an Instapot at home, too. Huh. The only time I would ever have milk is on cereal, though. Like, I don't really drink milk of any kind anymore. Now we don't really don't drink milk. I still am going to eat cheese. I'm just not eating as much of it anymore on our meal plan, which is all plant-based, except for yesterday. Which you're going to see the most boring meal. When we had chicken wings. And I had chicken wings for breakfast, too, so. <laughs> it, was, it was kind of like lunch. It was a late breakfast. Early lunch, but I had chicken wings. I need a cow because cream is so spendy lately. Yeah, why is dairy so expensive right now? Because feed is expensive. Uh, everything's expensive to make it. Uh, it's the chain that it takes to make it, I guess. Although we were talking about how with eating the way we're eating. Oh. With, oh my God, that looks amazing. 
with um, basically a plant-based diet, you know, just vegetables and vegetables, fruits, whole grains, um, that we're probably saving about, and also it's just now the two of us in the house, we're probably spending about $500 less a month now than we were, right? Isn't that uh, what I you don't said? Know five, but definitely um, half every time I go to the store. But our, a lot of that has to do with our, the change in, we're not buying, I'm not buying steak. Well, that's what me. I mean. We're not buying meat. We're not buying cheese. Because we were buying, we were buying tons of that. Both things, you know? Hmm. But every time you went to the store, you were spending almost $200. Yeah, taste a piece of that. It's okay. Not as, hmm? not as tasty as I thought it was going to be. Not bad, but... No, it's good. You could put some... Just this? some spice on it or something. A little bit of salt on it would be amazing. Just a little bit. Mm. That's good though. Okay. Next year I'm going to plant some milky oats and then puree them and make coffee creamer for the freezer so we can thaw it in January and it still tastes like fresh oatmeal. Oh, that sounds great. Who's doing that? Mix is. That's crazy. They do all the things. So cool. All the farm things. It's mostly greed at the grocery store. They haven't changed much in the way of seed prices or what they pay the farmers. I have an inside guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, when you live in areas, I bet everybody is like bartering and trading now, right? Because that seems to be the way in rural communities, you know? Everybody's got an inside guy and everybody's got something that someone else wants. Do you want beans? No. Um, Do you want beans with your... You know, if... And I could make a pot of rice just to have for the rest of the week. We don't have to have it, but we could do some beans. We just want to make some beans and make some rice, and that way we have it for meals for the rest of the week. Do you want to? I'm just going to throw them up. I'm going to see what we have up here in the fridge. I think we've got an onion. No, I have onions. I just want to see what we have up here for Because just like the beans, and what else do you put in them? Oh, honey, we need to... Well, we can. You said you were gonna do that tomorrow, what? right? Tomatoes? No, the uh, mushrooms. Yeah. See, so I normally throw this in the beans. I'm gonna saute this mix oh. with the jalapenos, onions. Yeah. But you wouldn't want to put in your salad, right? I mean, it's good on salad too. So we're gonna skip the beans tonight. We're just gonna eat. Them. So I'm not, what, there isn't going to be anything to eat with rice anyway then, right? I'll just make rice tomorrow. I'll just make rice, rice tomorrow. I. Double X. I. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Double X. Can we shut it? <laughs> OCD, Shana. Yes. Oh, no. It's okay, love. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Cheers. Welcome aboard. We are just randomly doing stuff today. We were downsizing our lives today. Tom did a great job. We got rid of, we didn't get rid of anything, but we sorted out a ton of audio broadcasting equipment. Um, so now it's in totes. We got some more stuff to do, but it's out of a, it's one, it's out of one storage unit. The next task is to get whatever's somewhere. in that other storage unit. Yeah, start bringing that stuff back. Some of it I can't bring, bring back. Bring that back. It's, it's too big. 
but we'll get it all. So we'll just put that on Marketplace. Yeah, I'll bring one. I'll bring one of those big kits back to set it up. Do we have any furniture? No. No furniture. So it's all the it's all the Bonnery kits. It's all the Bonnery kit. But yep. they they won't fit in here. All five of them. Yeah, we can put them in the back room. Why? We need to. I guess we just can. To, so we can get rid of the storage unit. Yeah. I was going to take them. Remember where I just cleaned out at that one? Uh huh. I was just going to stick them in there. Oh. I'm going to bring one here to set it up. And then if that works, I'll just bring one, bring them as I sell them. Yeah. Okay. It is Action Act. How's it going? Hi. Good to see you. Yeah, it is It is a challenge. It feels really good, though. It does. It feels really good. You know, the only way we're going to get to where we want to be is to do this. And so, you know, what we did this morning, we were like, look. So we're having problems with the boat as well. And the boat is like... You know, there's some big things. It could it could literally change the trajectory of how we do this, you know, exiting and downsizing our lives and moving on to the boat and things like that. If this boat, we can't get it running the way it needs to run, we may have to buy a different boat, which would require me to stay working for basically another year. So there's some big decisions we need to assess with the boat. And Tom was not ready to go... There's a test we're gonna do with one of the engines to see. <laughs> and it's kind of like, if it's one thing, we may be right on track. And if it's not this thing, and it's this thing that's worse, then it may require us rethinking our timeline. So it was just a lot of stuff. Tom's back was hurting and he couldn't go to get the piece that we need to test today off the boat. So we were just sitting back going, what do we do, you know? And it was almost, it almost felt like easy to go, you know, it's gonna do nothing, but we could just turn on the TV and like gel all day. And then we were like, you know what? Tom was, Tom was like, why don't we just go get that stuff out of that storage unit? We could start sorting. It's like, okay, we'll do that. And then we were like, well, stream, you know, chat's not going to like that. Like nobody wants to watch or stream that. <laughs> and you know, here you all are. You watched it. You did. Thank you. I know. That. And it's just great because it, it, it helps. It, it helps having like folks around, you know, making jokes and going, hey, that's cool. Letting us show off the stuff, appreciating those things that we've kept for so many years. Um, you know, it's just nice when people go, hey, that's cool. And yeah, and we can get rid of it. Yes, water boy, compression check on the oil cooler. Specifically, right? Compression. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put the so the oil cooler. Because water boy knows boats. Yeah. So So we're going to um take the oil cooler off and take the element. Hey, that's cool. Take the cooler off and then we're gonna uh, put pressure on it and submerge it into a Submerge it into a big bucket of water and see if we can see any air bubbles. And if we do see air bubbles, then we can try to figure out if we can fix it or not. Um, I've been in touch with the Volvo Penta after OEM guys that works. He has actually has a Volvo Penta email in Belgium. And that is the main warehouse for all these old parts. And so he... Um, he had asked me to pull it off and test it one more time. We've been through this once before, but I don't think the, test, the guy that tested it did it right. So. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, we took the step today to, instead of just abandoning the day, we, we went, you know what, we can make some progress. And yeah, it was good. I don't know. I'm proud of us. Yeah, we got a lot done. Yeah. Got done. It, it Mick says, we chucked near everything and moved, and we're slogging through trying to refill the house. Good thing we had a lot of scrap wood, so I've been able to build some things. Yeah. Yeah. And see, we're, and as we go, we're like, okay, do we need this thing 
on the bus or the boat, first of all. If we don't need it on the bus or the boat, then do we need it at one of the rentals, right? So we could put it in one of the, but they're mobile homes. They're tiny little places too. So there's not a lot of space, but there's a few things we have that are better than what's down in the rentals that we could take and replace there. So we're just kind of trying to stage all that stuff. And, but it's a process and it's slow. Like when you've got a box full of a bunch of stuff, like one little thing by one little thing, you know, so. Is it DIY or to the mechanic? Huh? Yeah, so if it's DIY. Oh, is it DIY or the mechanic? No, it's DIY. Yeah. Yeah, Tom's gonna, he's gonna take the oil cooler off of the starboard engine and yeah, pressurize it and stick it in a bucket and see if it leaks. That's what we're gonna do. We actually hope it leaks, as weird as that sounds, but that means that the problem is probably more fixable. If it doesn't leak, then the problem is actually in the engine itself, and that even the Volvo Penta guy said, that's not good. Yeah. So we almost hope it's, and, and if that's the case, I, we, I literally may be working for another year to pay for a boat. which delays everything, but, you know, I mean, we'll, we'll run along like we are now. Just do more bussing. Yeah. And which we, and, and we may, you know, we started thinking, um, we may actually be able to Airbnb this house as well. Yeah. Between now and then too. So just rent out rooms and try to, you know, try to get scrappy and make money and, you yeah, know. We got a lot on our plate right now. Yeah. So there's a lot to think about. No lack of no lack of um, things to do. So. so anyway, I'm glad we didn't just sit on the couch today. I am. All right, I think Laura. Yeah. I think that what we should do. Huh? Are you ready to go chill now? I am. Okay. What do you think? And then if you want to bring it, come back on and do marbles, you can. But I think we should eat. I want to clean up. Okay. I could go take a shower. All right. So, I think we're ready. I do. I do. That's fine. I got you. I got you. I'm feeling yeah. you. Say, you. Say your piece of chat. Yeah, I think we're going to, I think we're going to wind it, wind it down. Definitely appreciate this. Look <laughs> I'm going to shave. I'll shave today. Um, we are going to wind down. We're going to have some dinner. Yeah, we've been on the road for two days, we've too. Been, yeah, we've been, going, we've been going for a while Someone's again. been on the road. So, I need to do some research. I need a bunch of research. Watch Discord for updates on anything. Um, I'll be back on this week. At some point, uh, probably testing some equipment. If you guys enjoyed that, if you want, I mean, we can talk about it on Discord. If you if you think the streams are of interest and we can play with some of this equipment, um, I'll have more here this week as well that I'm going to try to sort. I won't do it all on stream though. Um, just so we can just I don't know. I guess it's up to you guys if you stay or not. But anyway, I appreciate you. What's that? If you stay where? Sorry, I missed if it. They, if they if they. I guess if they want to watch it, they can. If they know. want to watch what? Me sorting equipment. Oh. You know, it's up to them. What? I'm week? like, yeah. I don't know. I said I'll be back on this week doing something with it. Yeah. So. Blob powers up Templar. Oh, Blob and Blitz. I love you guys. I'm back. Just did an adjustment to the Route 66 style sticker. Made the background balance a tie. Into the forest, post in Discord, in the general tab. Thanks, creep. Oh my gosh, you want to talk about just a busy guy? All right, guys. Um, so I think what we're going to do is 
you know what? I think we're going to raid the 30 show. I don't know what they're up to, but there is some sort of live cam something or other. Yeah, they're, they're doing it on a boat or something. Yeah, uh, boat. something. So I don't know what's going on over there, but I think we're going to raid the 30 show. Thanks, Aaron. All right. So Shana, T. Thanks, you guys, Claire. for a great weekend. Um, you know, we had, this was really good. Low you know, key. we've done Friday, Saturday, and now Sunday. So three days in a row streaming. We're on the road, road trips. Um, we had some some awesome subs. Darren gifting some subs. Kendall coming in strong with some subs. We had some resubs. Um, we had some folks do some bits and things. So thanks for that support, you guys. Also, thanks for the support of the lurkers. Just you guys being in the background and... Um, coming in maybe from other people's streams. We had some raids. Thanks, Mucka, for the raid and Chef John. Um, you guys are awesome. Oh, and the 30 show. So, um, yeah, it's been great. So we're going to go raid the 30 show now. Um, and really, I hope you all um, take good care of yourselves. We will uh, join the Discord, kind of keep up with what's going on. Tom's going to post some stuff in there about yeah. the boat. Um, I mean... The butt, I think the boat, the butt and the, the, the bus and the boat. I'll post some stuff about the boat, the bus, and this equipment. People want to know what. I'm oh yeah, say. and start the start the yeah. Discord about um what we're gonna be putting on yeah. the market. So, lots of stuff. Um, thanks you guys. Bye bye Jackson. Take good care of yourself, love. Okay. And thank we you. Will There's see a bunch of people I started to mention soon. everybody, but thank you everyone. I think our rate is going. Nope. The raid has been created, and we are getting ready to go. Um, let's see. All right. So, y'all be well. We'll see you soon. Okay? Take good care of yourselves. Jackson says bye-bye, Mama. Carpe diem, my friends. Much love. Thank you, everybody. Okay, go ahead and turn that off.